Good morning and welcome to week seven of the Summer Skirmish. My name is Zeke and this week we are joined by Monster D-Face. Monster, how are you doing this morning? I'm excited. We're back for a day two, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to day one. It was a crazy day. Uh, happy to be up here representing for the Fortnite community. Mm -hmm. So before we uh, we jump into the games or anything like that, let's go ahead and break down the scheduling for today's eventful day. So, we are kicking things off with the Europe scene first today. It's going to be a three-hour rough segment of five intense games, followed by a nice little break where we resume with NA, which is going to happen at 2 PDT. And again, that'll be another five-game series. So, today is day two, Saturday, guys. It's been, uh, yeah, we, we saw an awesome first set of matches yesterday, so hopefully they continue to live up the hype. But obviously, you're probably asking yourself, Man, what's the format, Zeke? Well, don't worry. I'm going to tell you right now. Every week we change it up. This week is big bonus. So eliminations are one point each. Victory Owls are worth five points. And if a duo team can find eight or more eliminations, you'll get five points. So basically, if you drop eight, uh, eight eliminations, you automatically get 13 points. We've seen people just come out of the woodworks and drop these gigantic point values. Here's the thing, though. The points from yesterday don't carry over. So today is going to be a brand new set of games. And the prizing is per match. But we're also working toward like a big cumulative prize at the end of the day. Right. And remember, this is a fresh series, guys. So all the points earned today, everyone has a brand new fresh slate at earning some big prizes. So just, you know, you guys may have seen some people at the top yesterday. Shout out to Liquid Chap and his teammate, right? It was a crazy day of games up and down the board. And we saw just one huge performance in a round literally threw people into that top 10 for the overall standing. So every single game matters. You can't count anyone out all the way up until the end. Yeah, definitely. And now as well, we have a few, a little changes up to the uh, participants for today. Right. So... Uh, if we want to take a look at that very quickly, we've got definitely. like the likes of Svenos and Mitro uh, as a yeah, duo you, team. We'll definitely see some people coming back. We'll see some new faces in because I know you guys want to see different people in the community. So we're trying our best to you know, get a nice little roundup of people here. So this is the uh, just the player listing we got going on here. Yeah, there's an awesome uh, lineup, and many of them are coming back from yesterday. So they've learned a lot. They got to experience the game, experience the cube, and now they are ready to show up for day two. So we're going to go ahead and hop into our first game of the day. We hope you're awake. We hope you're excited because, man, we've got five action pack games coming your way. Now, here's the question. Who do we hop Big to first? Rogue oh, yeah. and Zacubus. So, I mean, location. we kind of watched these guys a lot yesterday, uh, Monster, and we yep. saw pretty consistently they landed exactly. Gus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This seems to be like their area, their location that they like to kind of play off of. And it's kind of interesting. So immediately kicking things off, he's kind of spotted a player. Those are shots that you want to make happen. Nice. That's a great weapon to have, too. First shot accuracy on a silenced pistol is just, you know, the reset is very, very quick. Control. You notice he hit two headshots from quite the distance with a pistol. So that's no easy feat. You can see uh, he's not even interested in going over there and thirsting that player right now because his teammate's nowhere near him. His teammate's probably in the racetrack, so... That means it's probably going to uh, be up to Zacubus to hold things down. But, I mean, if, if there's anything we learn from Zacubus is, is he is a terrifying Maybe player. He I mean, he's the, landing uh, headshots terrifying. literally between cracks of doors, yeah, he's, downing he's players. Nice highlights yesterday. Oh, my sure. gosh, man. So, we be uh, exciting to see how they show up. Mocha and uh, Royal here. Ooh, another spot off here. So notice how cautious they are, right? Just he's thinking about taking a shot, but you want that sure shot if you're going to kick things off. You want to make sure you're using four shot accuracy. And he's waiting for his teammates. So it looks like they're going to be a little more passive here and really decide if their area is clear. And it looks like he decided to fall back. Oh, there was teammate. another team behind yep. him. So oh, immediately he makes a snap decision, comes back, and yeah. supports his teammate. This guy didn't realize that, that was probably poor communication on that yeah, team that he just more. fired at because the yeah, teammate didn't even notice that they're they're in an actual pinch here. Immediately oh, one player goes down. One more hit, so all he's gotta get here. He is holding it hard. Yeah, he's like, peek me, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen right there. Oh, I knew it! Oh, Solary Yoshi, Yoshi is eliminated. Hey, That's just reading guys. players Let's well. You know, go. a lot of people have the same uh, player tendencies. So his timing on the peek, he did it twice. Third time, you're gonna get hit. Yeah, exactly. Incredible orb and uh, Tinkle here. Near retail row. Rocking uh, that Magnus skin, man. Yeah, yeah. This is actually like an underrated skin, man. I think uh, without the back wing, looks super clean like that with the horns and whatnot. I really like this one. Well, it's like an intimidation factor. You know? He is in wow. the air. That's reflection. Mid-air takes doing, down reflection. It's got to feel pretty good for him. And now two eliminations on the board. Remix and Markow. 
and lazy links man eu loves lazy links yeah they, these eu players man you know day in and day out we've seen some crazy performances i have an entire newfound respect for the entire eu competitive scene it has been crazy just watching these uh these battles develop really he's trying to line up the first shot just making sure his teammates down low. He's going to try and make his way over. Making that nice little rotation so they can work together and not be split up here in their first battles. I was about to say, man, that tree is definitely proving to be the MVP here, but... Oh, that's the overpeak, making him pay for it. See, and that's why people use, like, quick peak mechanics, right? Just so you can crouch, stand up, fire, but if you overextend, you're going to pay for it. And they're doing a great job of punishing, and man, once you down a player, that's it. You gotta, you gotta just pedal to the metal, try and eliminate yeah, the yeah, other we, player, we, and we, uh, find yourself two eliminations. That on player the board. actually managed to like slide on out of the port of fort. See, he was looking for him. Ah, uh, right, they're back here behind this wall here. Yep. So one guy's down, probably underneath the fort, and this teammate kind of disengaged just a bit here. He can actually clutch this up with how spread out these guys are. So they have to be very careful. Yep, and that's the high ground take. He makes a quick edit. Look how snappy that was. Oh, made him pay. That's exactly what we just talked about. Got to get the thirster for the point. Kronval eliminates one of the two, taking down Ryu there. I mean, that battle's not over, so we'll be paying close attention to that kill feed right there. Thomas and SK. It looks like SJ here is just going on this rotation. And we, we know for a fact there's going to be people in retail, right? We saw Incredible Orb around here. They're probably just sticking around, getting their farm on. So if they're not paying attention to their surrounding, SJ is about to catch these guys. Probably off guard here. Is this the right rotation to make, like, if you're heading in toward retail? Like, down yeah, like, like look at their resources, right? They, they don't have the heaviest resources. So my assumption is that they started at that broken bridge. I like starting there and staying around there, but they took a completely different rotation. This is more of an aggressive route to try and find fights if you're definitely going towards retail row right now. And all he's got is the dual pistols, so... I mean, you kind of talked about how the dual pistols have a place in this meta for a sure. Absolutely, yeah. They're a very uh, versatile weapon, right? They're high DPS at close range and good enough accuracy at longer ranges, even without the uh, first shot accuracy. And this is this is what they came here for, right? To get in a battle. He pulls out the grenades. He's like, let's, let's take this fight. I'm moving in. Come on, come on. Yeah, he says, like, you know, he's saying, like, come on, come on. So he's got the grenades in the perfect range for these grenades. They're going to explode before they even bounce. And that's the finds Perfect, perfect. He knows the range of his grenades, and he's going to make this team uh, definitely pay for it. So watch, you're going to see these dual pistols come in uh, handy here. And look, that that's a perfect back off just waiting for his teammate. They already have the advantage here. And we saw this all yesterday, right? I mean, communication is very, very important. Being able to give your teammates that information. Because, I mean, obviously, if this was a normal pub and you take down a player, the first instinct is just, hey, let's just push right? Yeah. But, and, and you can also see that they exercise the disengage, right? The teammate said, hey, listen, I'm probably not going to be able to get you. He backed off. He's waiting for his teammate. And if we wait any longer, we might pay for it. He actually came back to the battle, noticing that they split up. Good job down. getting the high ground. And it just was not going to be good if he gets taken out there. Seems like there's another threat just came in trying to clean up this battle here. Right, gonna try and secure this elimination. Oh, I mean, hey, this is an, if this is another duo, this could be another four or two eliminations. I, 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 I mean, this, this is what they wanted, and you notice when he got that elimination the first time, he got a lot of resources off that. So it was definitely worth it. He's doing a battle for the high ground, and it's a 2v1. Yep, that's a knock right there. And here comes the thirst. Incredible orb, just yeah. like we said, just He's inside about a retail it. row. Checking out this replay of AGO Poverty here. And again, Lothar are a good player as well, so he's got some great backup here. Nice shot. Multiple teams here. Dual pistols just shredding, shredding the shield there. Look at that. Man, what an awesome uh, pick up there. So two points heading there. Oh, way. the action is on here. He actually he got suck him. It was Zachyvis. Oh, Zachyvis. Oh, damn, is coming in, monster. The dual pistols. Oh, actually, that's a tactical shock. I, <laughs> oh, I saw those 40s come out. And that was the first thing that went to my mind is dual pistols do like 40 DPS. So I was like, yeah. oh, he's got a dual pistol too. Nope, that was a tactical shock and doing good good damage at range here. That was very nice. Wow, he stuck Zacubus mid-air. And gets to save the teammate here. Oh, he dropped shield, but ugh, it's not the time to stay in the storm, right? You really want to get on out of here, especially if there are no bandages or med kits. Getting that ATK or something and roll, you know? Two half shields. Two. But look, I mean, the, you're, you said it right. The storm's coming in. They've got to go. Yeah, like, they're still waiting here. 
Oh, his teammate's probably for sure getting a knock. He's gonna have to oh, do this time soon. Okay, tiao, they need, tiao, I tiao. honestly think I wouldn't take the. Yeah, I would not take the rift okay. until he goes down. He's drinking a slurp now. Oh, look at his HP! <laughs> wow, no way. He's literally fighting yeah. the storm. He is playing with a thin line there. I probably would have waited until the knock, got the extra 30 DPS off the revive, then slurped and got out of there. But, yeah, hey, uh, I mean, they're still alive, right? Every every second matters, so. That's right, Isaac and Le. And it just goes back to, like, we talked about decision-making. Mm -hmm. Hey, I mean, that's a choice they made. We'll see if it pays out. What's interesting is if they are going to rift, they should be coming in kind of around this area. Right, right on these guys, somewhere close by for sure. And I mean, uh, with that storm zone right there, you just saw a little glance of it. They've got quite some travel time, so they don't, they do not want to battle here. Yeah, look, they just landed and they're not that far. Yeah, they're, they're just here west of them, like literally diagonally. Right, but you know, kind of lucky for them, this team here, Isaac's team is kind of like focused on resources. And this is what you really want to do. You want to get your resource up before you battle. So they're, they're in somewhat of a good position. I think if you saw to the right, there's like a house. I'm pretty sure that's where they yeah, were. Yeah, right at that broken house by the uh, the bridge on the side. And there's actually a team here, so they're gonna hear this all this commotion. It might be wise of them to kind of come in here and uh, try and wrap this fight up, but no, it's over too quick. Immediately finds clean shots. Two Absolutely eliminations, clean shots there. man. Lay just always puts in work. Wait, this is another team on the op opposite oh side. Oh my! Just a whole other squad just coming in here. They heard the they heard the action. That's a shot there. And actually, Isaac didn't have uh, any shield here, so this is this is not a battle he wants to take. And that's a one pop for one eleven right there. Wow! That's gonna all the way. So Sky are in the Vic. Drop two eliminations for themselves. Two points in the board, man. Look how fast that battle was. Here's Sky. We've seen a lot of this guy yesterday. Look at how nice that landing was. The bridge was taken out. He lands on the edge there, taking out DK here. And oh, he thought about using a C4 or something there, but he doesn't have any. Man, yeah, Sky was uh, literally the only player in EU yesterday to drop 10 eliminations and drop a 20-point game on his own, which was pretty insane. Yeah, he was by himself. His yeah, teammate yeah, was taken down own. early. Yeah. This is Tinny and Yaro. So Tinny's down. Yeah, we got to see if Yarl can make this uh, this comeback here. So going for the high ground, he does, you know, nice standard 1x1 one, one one for the buildup. He was going to preemptively wait for the edit, but he decides to go in with that SMG here, being that it's fully loaded. And now he's going down to protect his teammate just a tad bit there, right? He doesn't want to overcommit, and he might actually go for the full revive here. Oh, maybe not having grenades here. Explosions are great for uh, build battles. Trying to come around, disengage there. I, I love the play that he kind of jumped down and tried to protect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of, you know, like he's like using that word gatekeeper, right? Oh, that's unfortunate. Someone just kind of comes in with explosions, like RPG, it has all types of stuff there. Vainless and like and do here. No fear of taking from low ground to high ground here. Just like that, changes the entire battle around on Svenos. Svenos gets rocked by the SMG there. Nothing but headshots, mind you. Oh, it's a drum gun. Yeah, drum gun is so good at point blank range here. This guy is building really hard. Like Svenoff's teammate is, uh, is actually Mitro. So yeah, Mitro's a fantastic player. I mean, this, this battle's not over until it's over, but, you know, Vainless and his teammate really have a lot of shield here, so uh, it might be in uh, Mitro's best interest. He's got a bounce to just get on out of there. Yeah, Looks like he tries, but no, Svenoff gets eliminated, uh, and, and Mitro goes down. Right he couldn't stick the landing, so actually, if he didn't stick the landing, no, the landing, no one gets the kill elimination there. No, there you go. Unfortunate. I'm dropping my medkit. Now, they do have the loot, though. And oh, an ATK. So sad. I hit oh yeah. There. I mean, I'm they didn't nice. even expend that much builds either, right? The fight didn't go that high, so this is a good battle for them to not right uh, here, right burn here. too many resources. And wow, talk about action! They're right on top of another team here that we just saw battle. This is a replay from Light and Do earlier. Oh, oh, jumping oh, shot. Also, Sven was already it. down, and then yeah. the build battle happens. He probably didn't even have enough time to heal. I gotcha. I gotcha. Ooh. Back over to uh, Poverty. Oh, they decided to launch that out because they're getting pressured. That's taken out the air. What <laughs> incredible shots from Dominate here. Or actually, sorry, from Poverty on Dominate. He's going for it, though. Yeah, he wants to secure these eliminations. And I mean, it's, it's a 2v1. You really have no reason not to kind of siege on this opportunity in front of him. Yeah, exactly. And again, the only way to get the actual points is if the player is actually eliminated. So once a player goes down, you look at that. That was, that was patience right there, right? He waited for his teammate to drop ammo, and his teammate did that so quick. Jumped and split ammo at the same time. This is fantastic teamwork right here. Now, Pavi has five eliminations, Monster. If Lothar has... Even one or two, I mean, they're close to hitting that big bonus. I really wouldn't even doubt it. These guys are steamrolling through teams right here. Their uh, map, you know, material count is looking great. There's another battle going on not too far on the other side here of the, of the storm line. Evil and high styled. Now they're on the opposite zone. Like they're across the way from the team we just left. 
you know, we're getting a lot of different perspectives here today, guys. So I know you guys kind of wanted to see other teams. We have all types of action lined up here, and it's going down on the EU scene right now. Minigun cooking up here, just chopping down these builds here. You don't want to let the metal fully heal, and this guy understands that. So he was trying to get it soon, but now these are fully healthy plants. So you have to be very careful. Okay. Oh, boy, had enough time to cook it up on Reckons. He immediately, dude, at close range, you just don't want to mess with Minigun. Yeah, it's so strong. The uh, DPS that comes out in that fire is great. So Nox is already eliminated. Cry is here by himself. Mm. Now he's up to the north, the very edge of the circle, and I believe he might be, he's not moving right away, so I'm assuming he okay, senses a threat. So maybe he sees players. You know what it is? He's at a, a high position on the map with bouncers. He has no real reason to rush out just yet. He can use that bounce to, you know, cover a lot of uh, ground, a lot of distance. Using yeah. that uh, heavy sniper. Scope in, just trying to gather some information. No way. He's going to hit this shot, 100%. Bop. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Look at the lead right there. <laughs> he was going to hit the shot. You can just tell the confidence, the patience, and the way that player was moving, straight line. It was just like almost like, yeah, let's get this nice little lead here. Textbook. Bop you. Man, on Ronald. Uh, you know, we talked about it yesterday as well. So much, uh, you know, themes kind of coming back up here. This this sniper on <laughs> EU is just crazy. It's yeah. So cool. Over to Blood and Beehive. I mean, we saw these guys pick a victory out Royale yesterday. They play super high, so I, I love what they're doing here. They're you know, couple eliminations in. Just look at the materials. Great, great materials. They are you know setting themselves up for a victory, right? Holding the storm line, and you know they have the the top half covered, making these edits so that the wall uh, turns a little blue, you know, so they can see through it here. This is just. Chilling right here. I like I like the play that they're uh, sticking to. Well, no, Thirty-three players left in the game right now. Storm's coming in. We'll be here in about fifty seconds. And again, you kind of talked about it, right? Is you you double edit a wall so that it's rebuilding itself. So right, as, as, as building is just little okay. bits of information you can snag on the fly here. And it's actually like high risk, high reward to do that because, right? Like basically, when it rebuilds, it's actually like rebuilding its health again. Yeah, you, you know, you don't want to over reset it at the wrong time. Yeah. You'll pay for that for sure. Because one bullet suddenly just takes the whole wall down, and then you're just taking a bunch of damage. Yep, you lose that value. And these guys are just sitting heavy under a base, and it seems like the communication here might be a little uh, lacking, right? He's got bandages. His teammate needs to heal, and they haven't really split yet. So I think they've probably just gotten out of a battle and haven't had a real time to. Kind of chilling. How did he not hear that double barrel at point blank range? Quick edit here. He's just going to hold down left click, and he is saw that teammate oh, is boy. there. They Victor. find Teeksy on the elimination. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. You, you I was going to say, of all teams, just kind of ran up on yeah, Teeksy like that. Yeah. Cool. that. You don't think that would happen. Uh, they yeah, yeah, just saw it. Everybody. Well, I mean, I guess it's a good thing they didn't split these bandages because now he needs them. Hey, that's going to heal, right? You know, he really does. I mean, he's got 12 bandages, though, so you're right. He needs to give some of that to his teammate. He's got to, they got to split ammo here. They have to split, like, yeah, health, all this kind of stuff. Because he's, he's only got four shots for the double barrel, not to mention he hasn't reloaded yet. High styled and evil. Back over to these guys. Dude, I didn't, I'm still thinking about it. Like, he just bop, bop, broke the wall and yeah, just came just, in there. <laughs> like, what? But you see, he didn't even react. Like, he just shot him, and then immediately they were like, oh my gosh, there's someone here. What a shot on uh, Lothar from 144 meters. That was crazy. They're going to go for it across the map here. This is, a, this is risky. You know he's going to get picked up. He's going to have time to at least mini. If they don't have some kind of bounce or something here, uh, I don't think this is a good play. I mean, I guess, right? They have to cross. It, you know what? You got to. You just got to take, I mean, get an inch, you take the foot, right? This, yeah. this is what these guys are doing right here. They're going for it. But, I mean, you're right. There's, there's for sure, Lothar's up. He's been revived. And he's, it, he's at a minimum, he's got a mini or two. Absolutely. And oh, the mini gun's the mini gun coming the out. Pressure. Yeah, you know what? This is wood that they have built here. That's not going to be enough. We need a material switch ASAP on these boys. Supplying all the pressure that they can you, right now. You, you. Remember, for every, you know, I second he holds down that minigun, other teams are hearing all of this commotion here and you can see that's that's some shield right there that's 80 from the backside so he managed to get a make it off and look immediately there's other players looking to vulture trying to third party right now i think i think you take this as a small victory and play for positioning right now there's way too many teams set up across the map here and that was the risk they took spending all that time in a storm line trying to go for an elimination now they're near the bridge I mean, what a great snipe, oh, yeah. though. I mean, especially oh, yeah, if you find it on someone like Lothar. You just have to go, you know? I agree, though. That minigun was a lot of noise, and that's why you immediately saw players yeah, like, oh, wait, what's like, happening oh, over here? Okay. So now now they're, like, kind of rotating into players that are, prepared, like, literally prepared for them, right? 
Cool, the preemptive shot through the window, so that's why you don't use the same window twice right there. Now they're over the bridge. Let's go and see how this push goes. I think they're just going to sit heavy on top of these guys. You think, like, literally sit just above them? Or? Yeah, you know, sometimes it's a really good strategy, you know? You put the pressure on the uh, players below you. Yeah, you see, they're just going to sit here, uh, kind of fortify up above them, and uh, really leave it up to uh, the enemies below them. If they want to get aggressive, they'll just play defense off this. Yeah, they got the mini, they got the half shield. Oh, he's going to be able to fully tank out right here. Personally, I, oh, he's got two arm. Oh, okay, two shield pods. I was going to say, I don't know if the extra mini for seven was worth it. I probably would have kept it so you have heals in the arsenal, but, I mean, he's got an extra shield pod here, so he's okay. Yeah, 18 players left and a campfire to top off. That's what you like to see. You see how they're not even, like, giving any attention to the guys below them? They're like a non-factor right now. Not until they make a move or something like that. Like I said, it's easier to play defense when you're above, especially having like two, three layers, so they have a lot of comfortability and room to play with here. And if you guys at home didn't know about this strategy, you can basically place a floor, place a campfire, and if you place a ramp on top of that, it heals within one grid space. So as long as you're kind of halfway all along the ramp, you're still healing, you're still getting that height advantage. But you can't be below it, so don't get confused. Ooh, oh, Baneless, Baneless. overextending there. There's a lot of overextending there. He was kind of focused on another team. He had a wall to the side, so he knew he was trying to protect his, uh, his flank, but... You know, having a sniper on one of these guys is deadly. He's hitting a lot of shots right now. I mean, we've seen it time and time again, right? EU, if you peek even for a moment, there's someone somewhere with a sniper. <laughs> ready to snipe, yeah. Yep, ready to take that shot. It's, uh, it's definitely a trending theme on the EU scene. And we haven't even talked about the storm here. We're approaching top 15 right now. There is very, you know, little players left. Storm is rotating right into high style and evil here. They are in a good position to hold players out. We actually see someone in the storm. This guy's going to be weak. That's the player who wants to focus. And you saw the focus kind of switch up right there really quickly. They're going to be right underneath him. They might even be worth the dive on to just shock him point blank. And it looks like players are getting eliminated yeah. here. Yes, the rogue Gomer was just lost to the storm. So he was actually lost to the storm. Mm -hmm. And you can tell he knows. He's paying attention to that kill feed just like we are. Uh, yeah, you see he disengages right away. He goes for the uh, the safe zone. So he couldn't capitalize there. Rogue Gomer was kind of sitting the storm a little too long. We've literally gone down to half of the current lobby. So we went from 16 to 8 in a matter of moments. That is how gnarly Ooh. the storm can be. I hear a grenade launcher. They're at the wrong distance for a grenade launcher. You want to get out of there. They're going to actually probably lose this structure. I would work my way down ASAP. Try to land a shot, but misses, unfortunately. Get these edits off the uh, pyramids to get these nice angles. Uh, they're pretty good. Yeah, really good peak angles. You know exactly what he's doing. They didn't set ramps here. They're intentionally using these uh, pyramids. There's no floorboard under this, though, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. They can listen like and do. So now they, they're on the other side of the storm. So now they have to make their way into the circle, which is across from them. And they're sitting under a base right now. I think they're pretty close. The question is, who is there? Far again. Yeah. Eight What's players left. They're just going for it? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, with the storm coming, you really got to make a move. I wouldn't build here, though. I would honestly save my resources. Yep, go there it is. No he decides that, hey, it's all good. We didn't get shot at, so it's time to stop building. This is just good game sense here. You know, these guys know what to do and when to do it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice RPG to take these guys off the high ground in that comfort RPG. spot. Super low, super low. Oh, he got next Gives a super low call, but the port of port goes off. Uh, no, that, that was not the kill. That was just and now they're trying to make their way. Now they're in. They find themselves in the circle. Very limited on Matsy. I would use those RPGs. He's got to make, oh my make the one RPG yeah, yeah, shot yeah. that's going to count. And look at how he aims for the structure. He's trying to figure out which ones he needs to take out yeah. from there. And oh, gets a knock right there. Aiming <laughs> high style comes straight down. And he's crossing for the Looks thirst here. He wants to get those mats. That's right. He's got more rockets. He just needs to go ahead, reload. Wow. The I wonder launcher. if he's going to be able to you catch this in time. Does he realize? Yeah, he everything. absolutely realized he picked up rockets. There you go. There you go. I oh, honestly yeah. would have fired back into the uh, the storm. He already. Oh, he drops another. <laughs> Evil <laughs> straight down. Five players it's left. Not over. It is not There's over. Another, in the, in the another one. City, oh, because he he's falling down. He bounced it off. He's coming to us. Bop. Oh, he puts the damage down, damaging the shield. Another RPG to break all the You gotta be careful. There's someone hiding in the structure. Remember, the dude just, just jumped in a portal for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally crazy. I'm one more two. rockets! I'm one Monster, more rockets! More ro oh, minigun trades out the RPG! Oh, he still, no, he kept the RPGs, picked up the minigun. That's oh. the lurking player. We knew that was here. Oh, this guy's... Rotates the staircase. That was an accident. Lycan do has no Someone's HP right now. Yeah. 
Blood and Beehive are another one of the oh, out of materials. What's he gonna do? That's a shot on Nihilus. That's another shot. Oh and the spawn <laughs> finish go. things up. Wow, <laughs> Beehive and Blood go. show up here on game one and take a victory out. So they are now gonna walk away five points. What a chaotic ending. That was a great ending. Uh, Beehive was up in the air. He was about to get taken out. Quick bouncer play. Reaction time was crazy. Mm -hmm. Him and his teammate come bouncing off. They kind of split up, lost each other for a second. Somehow bounce and <laughs> rejoin at the other side of yeah. the storm. That was actually insane. I I mean, wow. It, it was crazy going from we had 16 players and we went down to eight. The storm starts moving, eliminates a bunch of people, and then it's just chaos. And and you can see the double barrel coming back out in the EU scene. Yeah. Save it for these end games. He hit him for 150 DPS at point blank. Each one. Done, done. That's right. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh, man. That was so fun. Let's take a look at the final moments coming in from that first game of the day. Man, oh, man. I come from door, also. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, high ground. So you see here, he runs out of map. Boom, like you're saying. And there you go. 150. And the player, the, the last player was literally in the storm, ticking for damage, and then falls there. I mean, Man. he wasn't he wasn't gonna make it out either way, like you know. <laughs> Dude, what'd you think of that first game? That was a great first game. I think, uh, yeah, the action was there. We kind of see a lot of everything. It was nonstop pop offs from you know the edge zone all the way down to the uh, final moments of the game. There it was pretty pretty crazy. Yeah, I feel like there was basically no time at all to rest. It was just constant action. So let's take a look at the highlights coming in for match number one of the day. Man, there is going to be quite a few highlights. I'm very excited to take a look at. I'll be fine on the elimination here. Boom. Yep. Look yeah, how clean these shots are. Dual pistols putting in work. Teammate backup. Switch to the pump. Oh, dude, you remember this? Like, this was like a fight for, I don't even know, three minutes. Like, there was two separate duels that show up here. So we, we talk about that pump uh, buff up, which is that little bit of difference in the timing. You can make these plays. It may seem so subtle, but it's a huge difference in the competitive setting for sure. Oh, man, this is when he takes on Svenos right here. Yeah, and then he just full ascend on them. Kind of yeah. oh! That's what Svenos. He's like, oh, that was Svenos. <laughs> Yeah, but it's unnecessary. Oh, Fixer. Fixer gets knocked through the uh, the wall panel there. Is he gonna turn this around somehow? Look at the serpentine. Oh no! Oh, it's Wait. not over yet. <laughs> what? I mean, what is just, that? Was a community a submitted clip, by the way. Oh Vainless? my gosh! Again, oh, Vainless again. So Vainless got res and then uh, finds another uh, down there. All right, okay. And here you go. The final moment. So very quickly runs out of match, trying to block uh, block players out. And I, I thought it was kind of. I called it. I was like, Oh wait, he's out of mass. I was like, It doesn't even matter. He's getting these knocks with the double barrel. Yeah, and you can kind of tell he like waited a moment there to celebrate because he was like. He yeah, said, he I wasn't, took like, these it was players. just going down. Yeah, he saw the, the other shots coming in. He was like, what do I do? I have no mats. He's mid-air. And you can tell he's, like, running through options in his head. The player is eliminated. He sees victory out, and he's like, oh, we won! Yeah, right? Yeah! <laughs> that was an awesome first game. And dude, Snipes, you're up. Listen, guys. Keep him coming. Just <laughs> Keep calm coming. down, okay? Unless you just, look, new rule. You guys can only use snipers, so land somewhere, only pick it up with a sniper, and let's just make clips here. Just keep rolling out these clips, because, wow. Walking highlight reels you got on EU for sure. I mean, that, you know, Walking I guess you're from reels. EU, because you hit the same shots that they do. So is uh, that what no, no, no. You know, I maybe did some training, some, some studying here, right? Just check <laughs> these guys out, man. Taking notes. Okay, okay. So what are you hoping to see here in game number two? Uh, you know, honestly, I the EU scene from what I've learned so far, these guys just show up day in and day out. And like I, I use this term like walking highlight reel. These highlights just keep on coming. Mm -hmm. I want more highlights like these. These are great. Yeah, it's interesting to see how like EU and NA kind of play differently. Like, I feel like EU is just constant action, whereas like NA play a little slower. They play a little like they make sure of what they're doing. And like EU is just like, hey, let's just go. Let's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. like we noticed kind of out. like a trend yesterday. Uh, a lot of the NE teams are setting up together, which was a great idea, right? This teamwork factor. But like the EU, it's like 
they, they see a pixel, and it seems like they're just hungry to mm -hmm. start these battles. And I mean, things are really popping off. And um, it might be just it might be attributed to the loadouts. Maybe they do run more snipers on the uh, European scene. At least that's what, what it kind of seems like. A lot of these battles are heavy initiations uh, with with these sniper rifles. Yeah, and you kind of talked about confidence, and you talked about a lot about it yesterday. But the confidence does play a large factor in determining how players move, right? If you feel confident, if you down a player, you're like, dude, we can do this. Let's go. And I feel like EU, every player is confident. Everyone believes in what they're doing, and they're like, hey, let's just go. But you also see moments where they're like, hey, someone's going in aggressive, and the teammate's like, hold on, wait, wait. And they just, yeah, yeah, yeah. without skipping me, just like snap back, and they come back, rejoin, and they take another fight. Like, I mean, we saw it. We saw it early on in that retail engagement. It was like they got the knock, but he didn't get too hungry for it. He knew that he was putting enough pressure to let his teammate kind of catch up and close that distance. And then once he did, bam, they turned around and just came in together on the, on the battle. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. Good it's, engagements. It's interesting, too, because like we kind of – based on uh, the format, to get the point when you take down a player, you actually have to make sure they are truly eliminated. Yeah, you get the full elimination. And then you get the point. So it's it's interesting kind of balancing. I've downed him. Do we engage? Maybe not. You know what? Let them get the revive. It's fine. They're going to burn any resources they have, and then we'll push together because I know I'm too far away from you. So it's really interesting to see how these dynamics play out. Yeah, for sure. Very excited. And Make I mean, some predictions. Oh, finish your thought and then predictions. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, and ultimately, guys, they want eight eliminations oh for gosh. the bonus points, right? Yeah. It's just the way the format works. Oh, man, so make some predictions. Oh, uh, predictions. Hmm. We saw uh, Gamru kind of make it to the end, but I think a storm took him. They were playing for victories. You can tell they were holding high ground positioning and stuff like that. So I wouldn't, it, like, it really wouldn't surprise me to see, like, teams like that that are playing for these victory positions at the end really come up in one of these games or maybe multiple games throughout the evening or morning. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. So now that you've been on this side, Monster, what has EU taught you? EU has taught me that now the double barrel is uh, dangerous. <laughs> like yeah. you know, it's, mm -hmm. it just gives me more respect for the double barrel in these end game situations. I know there's a, a bunch of players that kind of you know stand by it on the NA scene, but the European scene it just seems like pretty dominant at the moment. Yeah, a lot of people picking it up in their loadouts. Definitely. What do you guys at home think? Hit us with the hashtag Summer Skirmish. Let us know how you're enjoying the games. Make your own predictions. Send us your favorite Twitch clips and moments. Talk about everything you're seeing. We want to have a conversation with you guys because, again, it's all for you at the end of the day. And obviously, don't forget to talk about Monster and how he's helped you level up your game because, I mean, this guy... This guy's number one. It's been so much fun hanging out with this guy. Also, if you didn't know, you should check out his content because he has taught me so much about Fortnite. You know what they Definitely say? Check him out. You should have watched that video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got me really good with that yesterday. Yeah. I, don't know. I was asking you a question. You're just like, should have got, should have watched my video, Zeke. And I was like, watch oh. that video, Zeke. <laughs> Dang, that hurts. But here we go, hopping into match number two of the day for Europe. Here we go. Go! I'm super excited. I think players are warmed up, man. I feel like I, they're just ready to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, and Ethics and Loya, we saw them play yesterday. I, I honestly enjoy seeing Loya play. She's one of those players that really talks through her strategies. She's like, right, hey, this is what I've got. This is what I'm seeing. Sure. Do you need anything? Yep. yep. I'm Probably. pretty sure. They could go look at this. They're going to go. I, I kind of want to hear what their early yeah. game strategy is here. Let's focus on Let's listen in. Good drop. Some people don't want to mess with you. That is it. Oh, she's actually rolling with Etnix. Yeah, going Fantastic far away is pretty much what. Uh... Yeah, we have one more team with us. Yeah. He's like right in front of me. Do you see his mate? Yeah, he's right above as well. Okay, I have Minus right here, so I might just. Oh shit! I'm not gonna want to do that because weapon. Chasing? Is he chasing me? That's good team comms right there, giving out oh, the he's chase get, call. Oh, I don't have any fucking here. I got a shotgun, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna oh, have a shotgun. Oh, Ednix gets away. chunked here, so uh, Loya's on that me? quick rotation right yeah, now. Yeah, Look, what an awesome play. I mean, Just disengages, first, meets up with Loya. He's right, above, right, right but now Loya's got to lead this I'm opening here. Him. She's got to be the one to tank these shots. Ooh, goes for a farm and gets chunked right there. Oh, oh no, shot in the back as well. Oh, that is extremely uh, unfortunate. Cronville so finds the elimination on I both. I thought he said he was on top, and then he cut. <laughs> oh, she thought he's on top. Man, I was so close, though. Poverty's teammate goes down here in Paradise Palms. Farm up the cactus while you can. 
So we know these guys like to land poverty. Last game, I mean, they had a lot of action and elimination. So they're they're sitting heavy on the overall standing right now. It's really up to Poppy, hopefully trying to uh, secure some points here before they get out this game. So I, if I were him, I'd play really passive, get a lot of mats, and just play for the late game kind of, you know, third-party engagement, right? Just get in on, on battles, try and clean those up. Oh, he's been spotted out here. He's got to get out. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he's going to take this 1v1 right now. Ooh, the, the C4 coming in, taking out a structure. But look, he's got his double barrel. Yeah, he's just waiting for the opportunity. Those nades are also game changer, by the way. Wow. Immediately w downs w Ryu. Up, oh, reloads oh. and gets the second one. Jeez. The respect on the double barrel. He just ran past the heavy, says, nope, I'm not picking that up. I have a double it's barrel here. Real. What that is why. Play. And you know, I, I didn't even really think about this, but it now downs on me. As a single player, if you don't have a teammate, more often than not, players are going to aggressively dive on you. Double barrel will make them pay for that if they don't know you have it. Yeah, that's a great single man loadout. Yeah, they're not really showing the respect to the players. I mean, <laughs> like he's like, oh, come on, look, we, it's, it's 2v1, let's dive on them. Nope. <laughs> Unbelievable. And look at this. Third parting here at range. They're firing inside Pueblo. Yeah, catching a, catching a player from this distance with this weapon, it's just going to be fantastic. There's no bullet dro uh, drop off as far as the damage goes. The bullet just goes straight, and it's going to hit exactly where you put that crosshair. Now, here's the interesting thing. We did see that there's uh was by himself, and you just saw a structure actually being destroyed there. But there is a player in Paradise. I'm more surprised why he didn't dive on this squad here. Noticing that the player didn't have any shield. This is the opportunity and the kind of players you want to see, John, you know? And he's he's fully tanked up here. He's got a slurp for his teammate. Uh, they really have to meet up. Yeah, I think he probably... So you can see on the minimap on the top right, his teammate is now joining him. Yep. So I believe once they're together, they'll probably look to make these rift plays because his teammate originally was kind of far, was near the river down there. So he's also decided who they want to go for. They noticed poverty down in the paradise palms. He's actually going to shoot up at them. Yeah, look at that. He actually lands a shot there. So now he's going to use the uh, med kit and then slurp juice out. Over to Peekaboo and dominate. We've already seen these guys doing good work. And wow, these, these shots that come out of him are crazy. Look at that. He's running two ARs here. Oh, now actually, it's just a scar in the SMG. Oh, this is a quick edit there, but it doesn't matter. Looks like the battle is a little bit reset here. Player comes right down into him. And Wasabi Dude gets taken out. Wow. I mean, he lasered that one player mid air. Yeah, that was, that was good teamwork right there. And they have a rift to go. Look at go. all this loot. Is he going to take the heavy sniper and a rift to go? Oh, tough decision. So I think he might drop the uh, the barrel there. Popping over to Junk, Junction, Mitro, and Svenos. This is Mitro here. I'm actually surprised to see uh, Mitro not running the Luchador skin. This is quite the like little build battle you got going on here for Junk, Junction, being at the edge of the map. How do they get all these resources this late in the game? I'm curious. Hey, man, it's Mitro. He's always got resources. Oh, the wall comes up just in time there to catch that one. C4, his backside was not protected, gets taken out. You saw him put the wall up in front of himself. He blocked himself in. That's right. He knew exactly where he was putting. He was throwing it on that open slot there. I don't think he kind of realized what happened. And I mean, this just is a testament to how Mitro plays. I mean, Mitro has not given up high ground. You see he jumps down there because he's 100% certain. Look, if I jump down, I'm going to take this guy down. And you saw he played from the high ground, used the, the remote explosives, the clingers as he had them. Absolutely well played. He's just like a comfortable player, you know. Everything he's doing, you can just tell. Like it's just almost like second nature to him. Yeah, with that, that was that was definite uh, confidence exerted there. They were super aggressive. Uh, both also to note, working as a team, focused on one player individually. What that other uh, enemy that was under pressure should have done was back this teammate up. They were kind of yeah. split up a little too far there, right? They weren't able to kind of capitalize on positioning. So if one person is getting targeted, that means the uh, aggressors are exposing themselves. You got to kind of capitalize on that to you know, show them and uh, make them respect you in those situations. Mm -hmm. Storm's coming in in two minutes, and they're, I mean, they're not far from the storm yeah, at all. Yeah, this is a great zone for Junk Junction. Doesn't happen often where the zone kind of ends that close to you. It's usually centralized where a lot of players have to move. Mm -hmm. So choosing ends, uh, end map areas, these these edge areas to start your games off, a little bit of a risk, but hey, man, if you, if you get the storm on your side, this is a great way to kind of get your materials up, take care of players around you, and just chill. And they're not too far. There's like that little spot near Junk Junction, so they're, they're could even, they could even stop there on the way to get loot as well. Over to Skype. Yeah, we no. saw Skype put up some big numbers oh, yesterday. Man. So he's, he's he's a scary player to come across in the build battle. I, I 
would love to see an engagement kind of pop off early on with these guys and see if they are the type of team to look for a fight or are they the type of team to capitalize on the situation. And we really haven't seen enough of him to kind of, you know, for me to get a good understanding of his play style. But, I mean, from what we've seen, what he can do in the end game is decision making is top tier. Yeah, for sure. This, this is a great loadout to battle with, man. Oh, yeah. Having C4, having extra minis for, you know, fast uh, PvP, this is great stuff. It's pretty good on mats as well. You know, they could probably use a little more, but, I mean, they've still got plenty of time. Oh, yeah, that's that's why he's just focusing on it. Oh, they've got a rift up top if they so need it. Oh, look at that. You hear that call out. Right yeah, there. contact, contact, contact. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So oh, no, clean. No, 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 like, did you see how fast Skite, like, literally diverted his attention there? That's right. C4 to reset the battles here. He's going to reset it and take this high ground from him. Oh. He's just pushing him. He's just saying, look, I'm just, just fight me head on, man. Come on. That's crazy. Finds and takes down Razor. This is some extreme confidence being exerted from the squad here. That was a individual focus on each of the players. He said, you take, you handle your business. I got this guy right here. And now they're just re, you know, reuniting to go ahead and push together. So they're going to thirst this player as a team. And they're going to stick together to re-engage on this last player. So that right there is Razor. He's now down. He's been eliminated. And Razor, you gotta help, you gotta give Ra uh, Razor respect. He's a great player. We've seen him do a lot of insane performances week in and week out. Uh, to see him just get taken out like that was kind of crazy. Put pressure on a player like Razor. Yeah, and then he just has more remote explosives. Six more. Over to Vainless and Light can do. Securing a kill right there. Okay, okay. Oh, he actually took out Beehive. We saw Beehive do really well yesterday. Mm -hmm. So Blood is either here somewhere. Yeah, his teammates got to be close by. Okay. They're making their way around. Tactical shock and putting it work right here on Dijari. <laughs> Celebration coming out. He's super excited. <laughs> Next yeah. <laughs> hey, look, you got to get hype, all right? When you take down players, that's when you get hype. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Love feeling the energy come out of these players. Oh, we look haven't seen much this. of Mikalau yet today, but, you know, he's he's uh, he's saving these these highlights, man. You know we're going to catch a highlight from Mikalau at some point today. He was in top form yesterday. Hoping to see another dominant performance from him today. We saw this guy. I mean, we had a whole package of just snipes. He had, a, he had everything going on yesterday. Top to bottom performance. There's a player looking. Uh, no way. What and a mid shot. How many players we see knocked out the sky today? I mean, this is like taken straight out the sky. Already at least two. Listen, monster. When you're playing in EU, nowhere is safe. Okay? <laughs> it really is nowhere. And you can kind of hear him communicating a little bit. So I think it's interesting. They're pretty much center of the circle. You don't really see like the outline of the circle on the minimap in the top right. So they're just kind of like waiting. You know, they're just trying to see if they can find anybody third party. I mean, and they clean did up. find a player, right? <laughs> yeah, they flying right by. Unbelievable. This is Goofy and Kevster. Check out the snipe on the I mean, look, Kevster's got the oh, snipe out. Snipe. Oh, wow. We, uh, we call that uh, gargoyling. Uh, you sit up there and you kind of sit out in the open. Oh, this this actually, he just got a knock on NIP Goofy, which might have been a snipe as well. He had that hunting rifle out. Yeah, now they're going to capitalize on his drop here. They actually, they might be in the storm. So, yeah, he's going in the storm. He, he wants to make sure he secures this, doesn't give it to the storm here. And, I mean, you might as well find the loot while you're there. Yeah, I would as well, man. Every point, ca uh, you know, counts here. Sorry. You might as well pull out that pickaxe and just like get to work right now. There you go. Okay, so he he told him where he was. Yep. It's Up high top. Ground take. I mean, time is ticking here. They haven't given him the yeah. opportunity to heal, so he's really got to land a shot eight, like quickly soon. Because oh. otherwise, if he doesn't get the points down, man, he's gonna be eliminated to the storm. Oh, there there it go. is. Oh, Try to go for the quick res. There it wasn't enough. A chug wow. jug, chug jug. See, so now just shows like it was all worth it. Good old Tinny and Yarrow, man. These guys. That C4 reset right there. And that was actual DPS triggered. He takes off 70 shields, so that was not only a reset on the battle, but a shot that takes off, uh, you know, shield off that player. He's got the player underneath him. Uh, traps were traded right there. Both players. He jumps into it. Oh. I think he tried to jump over him, but he was no, like, you see, nah. what happened was he thought he was the only one that put a trap. No, they did it simultaneously, didn't realize it was the enemy trap there as well. He's coming down, he's coming down. <laughs> that was so now, Yarl trying to find this last player. He must be feeling good after that one. 
And look at that. Him and Tinny together. You're not going to be an LMG and a drum gun. Good job, Ooh, good job bro. Man, what a great. sick play. That was a great play. <laughs> the trap there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You, you can't, you know, you can't plan these kind of performances. Like, that just, like, you know what I mean? You that don't just see that. Yeah, it just happens. It's so crazy. High styled. Evil. I mean, they did great in the uh, previous round. Uh, we'll see how how they're sitting here. They're sitting so heavy on resources, man. They're doing really nicely. I wonder if they're going to make an early play for the zone here. No eliminations on the board for this team right now. So, you know. Mm, what a shot. You just cannot wait. That's a headshot. 178. Oh, Yesterday here. it was Mikalau. Today we got high styled and evil coming in with the snipes from across the map. Man, these shots right now. <laughs> Everybody calm down, okay? Jeez. Launch pad. They are so far. They're making their way along the circle. They want this fight too. Minigun coming out. Oh gosh. Time to get cooking. He's not gonna let it cool. Oh yep. Oh, he lets it cool down. So who are they gonna focus? Yep, they change focus to the one player, double back. They're kinda indecisive here. They don't know where they want to go. So the play of saves is gonna, you know, dash up for the high ground here. There's a rift right there. Oh, uh, with the rift here, they know now. I think now they know they're gonna go all in. Oh, they're here. Here it is. Yeah, one, yep. I'm telling you, once you see the rift, this is a confidence booster. Like, hey, dude, we could we could, you know, steamroll these guys and go. Look at this, they split the attention of that player, and look at this pinch from two different angles. Ooh, there it is. He tried to get to the riff, wasn't quick enough. <laughs> it was literally one grid space away. So close. That wall that he put up to try and protect himself stopped him. Yep. So now they're going to take a moment, you know, reload their weapons. And he took no damage there. That was a perfect battle. Wow, look at that. They even have time to split ammo. They're good, man. And they just rift when they need to. Love the overlays, like game two out of five, keeping his audience up to date. It's a nice little setup he's got going on here. I was gonna say, if he drops the minigun, you can't. You gotta take it with you now. You and this thing are on this journey together. <laughs> I think is, is there was that another team firing at them there? Um, and I believe so. They have someone here. I wonder why they're being so passive. They think they can just fight. They're trying to see if they can get some more points before rifting out. I mean, the storm moves in eight seconds though, and they're literally a. I I the storm think they're wall. playing it way too close. They see a battle in the distance. You might as well dive on it. So you were in Teeksy. They're in Tilted Towers. With zone, mind you. There is just What structures. amazing edits. You see this? Yeah. 40 plus players remain. You can kind of try. We're trying to figure out what it was they're doing, but now we're hopping over here. Yoshi. This is this is where you really got to start paying attention to that kill feed because players are going to be dropping. The elimination, the elimination feed is going to be lighting up anytime now. And look, they're just outside of a, a build battle going on here. He makes it to his zone. They're just going to chill. He has no interest in kind of taking that. I wonder why. Yeah, did you see there was like another fight happening literally right in front yeah, of him? Yeah, he's, he's not even that in the eye. Maybe he was already under pressure from the team behind him. Could be. Okay. SJ under fire. It's happening right there, mind you. They hear all this going on here. This is a huge battle. Oh my gosh, using the tree there. Super clutch. That's a nice shot right there. And they find Peekaboo. And look, they've got a med kit. So he's like, hey. Oh, they actually ripped it in on this team. This is the same squad we were just watching. Just came across. Oh, explosion. oh what a great RPG. Bob and Weave. Can he Bob save his teammate? He is trying to save his teammate. He takes shots for it. Thomas Pace. He literally has like one. Oh, Storm's so close to their backside, though. He's got to move forward. You're probably going to have to leave your squad mate here. Oh, Kinstar finds and eliminates. And now he's by himself over to Gotaga and Mikalau. They haven't moved. There it is. Sky just eliminates Thomas Pace. So, yeah, there was no, there was no way he was getting out of there. Cronvall takes down Abar. Laying down these grenades, just making sure they can't secure that supply drop there. And look, the rocket's flying across the air, trying to damage this base, but this is a base made of metal. Yeah, RPG is great for this. Or the uh, grenade launcher. Haven't slowed. He can, he can actually it. land a slow from here. Yeah, he realizes that. And this is a good distance for it. Just, oh. He's aiming too high. Uh, yeah, I think you just have to fire straight at it, right? The, the problem with that is you expose yourself, you know? Look at this setup. You can see both players. <laughs> hey, uh, I actually got to meet this uh, this dude right here in the full assault rifle. Uh, this this get up. He was at the e uh, E3 event. Really? Yeah, he was at one of the E3 events. I saw him in person. That's awesome. awesome. How did he get to like NA, by the way? 
<laughs> he was in, I'm oh, telling you. Said, Look, I'm going to go hang out at the Pro Am. I swear, he was at the Pro Am. I met him in person. I remember with the beret. This is pretty awesome. And you can see his, uh, his character model is the same one, dressed up. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> hey, he sticks to it. So now they're under fire right now. Now, here's the interesting thing is he has four eliminations. And there's still 30. Oh, he got shot from the side. They didn't look that way. Must have been a oh, yeah, there was there. a player there. Yeah, if you, if you, when you get hit in this game, the hit marker kind of shows where the shot came from. Oh, no. Oh, he's got to leave his teammate. He doesn't have HP to stay here in the storm. He makes a quick edit. Oh, nerves kicking in here. No, it's, it's ticking for way too much. Look at how many eliminations. So the high five, I think they hit the eight elimination bonus. It's close, man. Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I feel like he just didn't realize. He didn't understand where he got shot from. Right, it was intense, intense moment right there. See, so yeah, that's the difference being in the player seat and the casting seat, right? Like, I picked that up right away. Like, dude, it, was, you know, it just sets you right. But he's just, like, in the zone. Yeah. Now he's by himself. 28 players left. <laughs> edge of Storm. It's a scary situation to be in. <laughs> he's being very cautious. You see him kind of, like, crouch walking, making as little noise as possible. I don't blame him, man. This is exactly where uh, Gotaga and Mikola were firing grenade launchers down at. This is right. the stone structure at the edge of the mountain. So there are players everywhere. He's been pressured up into this point. <laughs> and the circle moves on top of him. That is beautiful. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure like a sigh of relief just came out. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, we're we're gonna be okay. Yeah, we're gonna right survive much longer. Here we have Tinny. Not too far off from him. Probably just sitting right above him. Holding out those masks. Make sure he's got his defensive stance up. So the interesting thing is they have yeah, the rift to down. go. They can use it whenever they want to. I don't think they need to just yet. He's got enough materials to cross kind of safely here. Can't help you. He's saying he can't help his own teammate right now. Try and get to me. Try and get to me. I think what we see here is like uh, some shots coming from the side here. It might be Gotaga and Mikolaus still sitting on that mountain, but they have to make a move in. And yeah, this is a team moving around. They might be just trying to cross at this point. Shots coming in left. Every right. team is focusing on them one. right now. That was that actually was Mitro. And Mitro. So they're gonna they're gonna secure Mitro. Nice nice pick for Tinny here. So that right there must be Svenos. Oh, he's exposed. He didn't take out. <laughs> he went for the premature reload and uh, lost yeah, yeah. some the river, the river. opportunity there. The red knight, the red knight. He is down to his metal material here. Down one, I killed one. Yeah. That was DK. So there's a whole other squad there. there. Yeah, there. it's just going down right here. Farm up these eliminations here. Just keep it going. You see the ramp. There's a ramp build there. There's a triangle up on the oh, left. So there's a whole other duel here as well. Nems YT gets the elimination on Svenos now. There's still another player there. Yeah, up in the top. He's trying to get to the mats now. So much gear there. Down to 24 players. Look how slow the storm is moving on Tinny's back here. That's how close he is to the next zone. That he had, he doesn't even feel the pressure, but he's got to go. He's got to go. Especially now that it's going to be ticking for as much as it's going to be. You got to gotta start making moves here. Oh, materials on this squad is super low. What a base you got going on in the air here. He can actually take that down. <sighs> Man, he really doesn't even have ammo. And honestly, the drum gun and the AR share the same ammo type. So as he's burning through ammo, he's... Oh, wow. Takes out evil. Trying to uh, he realized he doesn't have enough ammo to kind of hold that left trigger. So he got If I were him, I'd go for the, for the, the down player. Oh, almost brings him towards him. Just take out the double barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to get him one step closer. He's like, come on. Double barrel, come on. Come to Papa. Look at this. Fixer and Gabby. Nice to see Gabby still alive here. They're putting pressure in as a team. Notice that they couldn't share the same opening. LP Massive goes down to Gabby. Nicely done. Putting Gabby on the board now. Look at all, look at all that loot right there. The temptation <laughs> kicks in for his teammate. Fixer's like, I'm going for it. Makes a mad dash. <laughs> He's like, I need he this. Makes a mad dash for the loot. Got Tinny and Yarl still alive. So uh, Yarl made his way up to Tinny. They've rotated. They've moved. Yeah, take a look. Take a look at Tinny's HP. And he's got two med kids. Yep, that's a split right there. That's good teamwork. Yarl's got three eliminations. It's crazy. They're focusing aggro first and like HP and stuff second. You know, dude, look at. Quick. That's oh, okay. Ooh, look at Tinny's HP. He almost got eliminated for that. 
Tinny. <laughs> he believes. He's like, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm freaking Tinny. Let Watch me. You gotta let Yarl lead this. He's just going in. They're not quite in the circle yet. They're so split right now. This is actually crazy. Yeah, no, he takes shots. Man. Yeah, you know what? I agree. No, they I... split up too much. He could so oh, split. Yep, so there's... Oh, falls but in his box, one. gets an insta on Gamaru. And I knew I was going to see Gamaru in this endgame. We're approaching top 10 now. The Storm is eliminating players. Mikalau so took the right. L to the Storm. You need two more kills for eight. Two more. Two more? Okay, the, the, he's got the med kit. Gotta got use it. Oh, that's not at him. Whoa. There you go. Okay. I don't think two was good enough there. He should have left some room to like look out. Oh, and edit. Right, because now he can't edit. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, you gotta go med kit, dude. Bro, Make it happen. Med kit off and see for two people. That's eight. There you go. So he's Tinny's like, hey, you know what? Just med kit, walk out, C4, two people. Uh, and he eight. said, C4, two people. That's eight. You know, just do it. Just like that, dude. Come on. I mean, honestly, Yarl can. And there it is. Please C4, don't. two people. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. One more, one more kill. Pixler goes down. Okay, so they need one more elimination, and they're going to Oh, no, the no. storm. Not like this. Not like this. Got to roll, brother. Break, 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 break. Just keep calm. Keep calm. Build on. Shout out to the buff. Look at this. J Biz and Kinstar here. Seven players remain. He is one elimination away from six. Six points. Five gun. This is a minigun situation. Oh, he spooked him. He turned around thinking, who is that? <laughs> spooked his own teammate. The jump back and forth here. You can see two perspectives going down. He actually changed elevation, falls down just a tad bit. There's still five players left, Monster. Things are still happening. I think this must be a 2v1v1. They, they have the highest ground here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Fnatic Jarl gets another elimination. Oh, yes, yeah, 2v1v1. 2v1. Where's, Where's the last player? Oh, oh, all the way from the top. Way, comes down with the RPG. Oh. What a shot and gets the elimination. Oh my one gosh. Goes down. Oh. And one short. Oh, that's why they let out that. They let out a, a, a cry. Just a, oh. That was crazy. One away from the big bonus. How would you feel? I, I think, did that last player... No, like, he. they picked that one up. Okay, so there must have been one, one player along the way that I think they went for. It must have Jaro. been... Jaro. Jaro came in and swept one up. Yeah. So I think he got his bonus he was looking for. Oh, my gosh. Let's take a look at the final moments coming in from that last game. That was a lot of action. Oh, my gosh, circle. man. Look at this. Look at this play. See? So you see right there, Jaro uh, eliminated uh, Kai right there. Ah. Comes down all the way. Man. E oh. <laughs> oh. Gosh, Luckily, dude. they land a tag, so that was going to be their yeah. elimination. Yeah. What a game hey, number that, two. That one tag before he hits the ground, that matters. Yeah. That oh matters. Oh, my gosh, dude. I don't, what do you, I mean, pff, that these was, games are that crazy. Was a pog champ situation. We still have three games. <laughs> we still have three games. Yeah, game two, game two is great. Man, let's take a look at the highlights coming in from match number two of the day. Yeah, don't forget, guys, you can submit highlights uh, from any perspective. Oof, what a knock on Paradox. Here's Incredible Orb and Teamwork right there. Slamming down in a house. And that's a trade. Goes for the instant thirst. And we actually watched this one ourselves. Yep, as he falls down, secures the elimination there. Oh, yeah, Kevster. I mean, you know, <laughs> just doing Kevster things. Boop. There you go. Fino, Fino. I don't have a shotgun around though. They're both on me. You need to come down then if they're both on you. Oh my oh, gosh, this, this trap this? trade here was great. Okay. <laughs> Jumps into that one on the pain. Yeah, that was, that was a great highlight. And this is shot here, dude. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, Think about that from his perspective, right? Stops really quickly. He's trying to line up his own shot. No. It's okay, Exposed. And that's the thing, man. You give any other player in the lobby even just one second. Just can't. I've been there too, man. Stop for a second, 72 hours, bops me. Oh, really? <laughs> Literally in a comp game in a skirmish. Oh, my gosh. They find Dominate here. I believe this is what Gabby picks her final elimination. Remember that? I like picture. what she does here. Use the other window. Yep. Give some room. 
And I remember Fixer's like, I'm gonna go for this loot. Yeah, he just died up there. <laughs> <laughs> well Man, played. what an awesome game, too. We actually have the highlights coming in from match number one, or not the highlights, I'm sorry, the score. So yeah, score. That, see where people have placed after match one. Um, I'm very excited to see what this is like. Okay, right Ooh. at the start there. Uh, Beehive and Blood have 18 points after just game one. Block and Fix right behind them with 13 points. Lothar, Poverty, six. And then the double fives coming up from Like Do, Veinless, and Veins, and Crowley. Man, oh man. And we kind of talked about this, man. It's only a point difference along all this uh, scoreboard right now. Yeah, just even you can see incredible oarsmen on, uh, you know, getting points here, getting points there. So all these come into the overall standing for later on man so don't forget ladies and gentlemen every game will have uh, fresh settings based on that game but at the end of all five matches there's a cumulative point so at all these points are leading us up to one final standing so you know for kind of like fresh games but also we're, we're working toward an end goal so yeah. man oh man what do you guys at home think hit us with that hashtag summer skirmish how are you enjoying the action eu is chock full of so many i mean let's be honest snipes i mean I send us your favorite snipe clips. We want to <laughs> see them, okay? We actually sure. have some of your favorite clips that you've actually submitted, so we'll take a look at some of those right now. What have wow, you sent our distance. way? Oh, check this out right here. That uh, heavy sniper scope in, just trying to gather some information. No way. He's gonna hit this shot. Hundred percent. Bop. Oh, you oh, I called. He was gonna hit this shot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably was my favorite oh, moment right there. <laughs> Let me just know it's gonna happen, and then it just like. It's like yeah, it I feels. Saw it it feels feel like it. yeah, it feels almost like a military sim. Like he was sitting there and it's like he was like testing. He's like the wind is this. <laughs> He's uh, roughly this far away. I need to. He jumped, taking the shot. Now kill confirmed. <laughs> Done. Done. It was great. Man, um, you know it, it's funny as a, as a player, as someone that you know plays a lot of Fortnite. You know, like deep down inside, you just know, like oh dude, I'm gonna hit this and boom. Just, just no. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, a thing that takes over. Yeah. yeah. So like even watching, it's funny. I'm like, I, I know he's got the feeling. Yeah, I can feel it through can. here. Like I am so invested We're right now. We're synced. So invested, I can feel it through here. That's awesome. We also have the standings come in for match number two. So let's take a look at that and see where players placed. So right there at the top, Tinny and Fnatic. Wow. Girl. So eight eliminations. You and, called and it. Last round he had four. Uh, they had like a total of four or two points. So look at that. That's gonna bump that with this overall standing. They're doing so good right now. Yep. Kinstar and Jay Biz find themselves that victory out, so they get the additional five points. And then there you go. I mean, look again. There's really not many point difference, right? No. It's one elimination differences that and are... And we're seeing different people up and down these boards here. So, look, like, like, the Incredible Orb had, like, about four points last. They got another two. These, they are sitting really good. Now, every single elimination counts. So, your overall standings this is doing great so far. Check it right here. Yeah, look, and this is the current overall standings after our first two games. You see Beehive and Blood there at the top with 18 points behind them, Block and Fix. And then there in third place is Kinstar and Jay Biz. I mean, even look at Tinny and Yarl, right? They're yeah. all the, these points now, this is where we're going to see players kind of like start to lead the pack, right? Yep. Eight, the difference between 8 and 18 is obviously a gigantic 10-point lead, but with still three games, it's anyone's game. One elimination, one little eight, uh, one large eight elimination game, those extra bonus points knock you straight to the top. I mean, especially if you get your team can pull out a victory out, that's five additional <laughs> points that you just get. So, yep. man, the action is definitely heating up. I, I mean... It's just exciting. You know what we haven't seen a lot of is people messing with the cube. I, do you want to mess with the cube? Yes. <laughs> uh, Everyone meet up on the cube. Okay, we're going to start messing around with it, see what this thing does, because yeah. I still don't know. I don't know. From what I've seen on Twitter, I've seen, like, good and bad from it. I just, I've seen dudes fly a mile away. I've seen dudes bait people towards it and then get an elimination. Uh, earlier, I was watching Svenos bouncing, hits it. He take it out. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we'll find out soon, I'm sure. Yeah. But what do you think, man? We're going to go into game number three in just a second here. Uh, I think this leaderboard is going to get taken by Storm probably by a new duo. Really? Without a doubt. We've seen in each game, like, rising stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wouldn't would not surprise me to see another squad come out heavy here. Man, I am excited. Don't forget, everyone at home, hit us with the hashtag Summer Skirmish. Make predictions. What do you think of all the action? Are you enjoying the format? Let us know what you think would be I love better. this format. I mean, way. honestly, the format is this, just This so one, much of, fun. of all the formats, uh, I think this is my favorite one so far. Really? More than Kingpin? Yep. At first, I thought the eight uh, bonus was a little too steep, but nope. Kind of seeing what's going on here. I, I like the heavy points that it's just every elimination counts too. 
You know, I kind of agree. I like the, it's weird because you think like it's seven versus eight. It's just one point. But honestly, that extra point really like makes those, when you drop that eight bomb, it just makes it feel that much more impactful. I think even players feel that too, so. Absolutely. Look at the cube, there it is. <laughs> Laser chop, just redirect him. Take him away over there, okay. Blah, blah. Oh, hell yeah. So Jake actually, the seen a squad earlier here. They were sitting on the mountain before, so it seems like they had a much better, comfortable drop to dive into this little, you know, unnamed POI, which is one of the most underrated spots that was introduced in Season 5, by the way. You can find a lot of loot and materials here. So with the launch of Season 5, I landed here every game, oh, yeah. like five days, yep. and no oh, one ever landed yeah, there. Yeah, and then we started seeing people yeah, land there because, yeah. like, Content creators were making. I was gonna videos say, who released stuff? the YouTube video? Yeah. <laughs> that is someone you know. else. Like two different people made a Maybe video about it, and then it was just game after game. It was like ten squads. Some, there. Sometimes I regret revealing a meta because then it backfires. <laughs> like, like when you teach people, like, hey, you do this with this, check that out, and then like, bam. Wait, monster, they find a snipe that was in range. Crazy snipe, by the way, and they're split right now. So how are you going to get your teammate here? Are there rifts to get to him? It was 160 meters. We're in Tomato Temple. Oh, my gosh. You ladies and gentlemen, all day yesterday, I begged the community to play in Tomato Temple. And here we are. If you haven't been to this POI, please take a time. Go play one game and land here. This place is awesome. Take a screenshot. Put it as a screen saver, by the way. Yeah, and then, and then tag us in it. So Monster D Face Zygmunt Prime, tag us. We want to see the pictures that you take. Look at hey, mini shield right there. Hey. And uh, I know that if he looks up, so the new the tomato head that disappeared is back, but looks different. I mean, it basically looks like the new tomato skin. So he's got like the the crown on his head, made of like the the different utensils, like the, the silverware almost. By the way, what a nice teammate to give his teammate two minis and head. use one. You know. Oh yeah. Teammate, man. I mean, you know, it's the. What was the best thing we saw yesterday? Like, it was like t legendary teammate, teammate of the year. Oh, is they drop a <laughs> yeah. chug jug and yeah, we're yeah. like, wow, he's holding year, a dude. chug jug? Right. All right. That's teammate of the year, best teammate uh, NA EU ever. Let's take a look at this right here, right? This is our number one overall standing team so far from what we saw. They're so far apart. That's comfort and confidence. Yep. Oh, bad one, Salty Springs here. Going with the push. I like to push, but the ramp gets taken out. So he's got a reset here coming from the side angle. Let's see what he decides to do. He's got his teammate backing up, and they work together. Wow. Nice distraction. He just forgot all about him. Tixie goes down again. What a play from High Style and Evil. And they're actually canvassing the entire map. We haven't seen them in the same spot once yet. They're just, hey, no, we want to hear. We're going to take that. We want to hear. We're going to take that. Yeah, I mean, you see a lot of players tend to land in the same spot every game, and they're saying, we don't need to do that. Yeah, they're finding success all around. And wow, this motel's been turned inside out here. Must have oh, some C4 going on. Oh no, someone's on the run here. Is it going to be a turn around? Does not. Oh, it's, it's close. Etnik's head down. down. That means Loya's close by. Yeah. He's trying to get Can high. Loya score at least a point before. That must be Loya over there that yeah. they're shooting at. Focus is real right now. And they're coming in from two different angles. Oh, nice. going down. That's a tough spot to be in. And there was two separate duos here, so there's three right. teams that landed. Man, cool. oh man. Fixie, Fixie's been having a good performance too. Consistently hey, he starts you know, the game up here there. with four eliminations, right, Monster. That's heavy. <sighs> it's really good. You just need four more and then you activate the big bonus. Look at this, he passes Tinny a minigun. Dude, I love that we're seeing a resurgence of the minigun because players are starting to realize that if people are building man, you just walk at them with a minigun. Now, not in every situation, because obviously you make yourself oh, a gigantic you target. Gotta be careful with that one. Yeah, you know what's funny? Uh, Viking Village, as much as I love the loot you can get here, it's one of the harder places to land because of resources. He's like farming the inside of this boat here. Oh, he's waiting for the perfect shot. He's going to find it too right there. Ooh, Ooh that guy has so a haircut. Close. But now they know this is a side threat, so look at the walls coming up differently now. You can barely see him there. You can feel the intensity and the standoff here. Both teams showing massive respect oh to each other. My God. What a snipe. 217 meters, no. Iki. Oh my God, was so I just... Tinny, stop it. They saw that happen, and they dived in for this. They want that extra elimination right now. If he'd hit that sniper, I would have literally lost it. I would have started screaming. Hit whatever you can. I will just farm. They're trying to just scope in. I, I, he's going to hit another one, I think. Uh, he, is, he is in top form right here with the sniper. But remember, for every second the, uh, he's using or you know allocating to this battle here, he's, he's team, not farming or anything. Coming. His resource count is going to fall behind really quick. And another team approaching from Greasy Grove now gets win the action. They're trying to come in and clean this up. 
Leave him in the oh, man, imagine if they had, like, a thermal okay, scope they are right now. They could just be putting down shots. And, I mean, he hasn't even gotten the point for the knock, right? I believe he must have gotten revived. I think he's got to let go of this battle here and get back to farming. Yep, and that's kind of what he decides to do here. I mean, if you saw... Oh, he's just opening up the visuals. <laughs> he's like, nah, I'm not giving up. he wants this, I mean... Mm. You know, it's free points on the table, so it's like, it could be high risk, high reward, you know? Gabby trying to get some more eliminations. We saw them make top 20 uh, last game. Dropping me. Hey, hey, <laughs> the burst, one of the few weapons with three bullets connects to the forehead. You are going down regardless of your armor count. I like it. And here it is. So are they going to dive in on this? They are. Good job. Oh, man. Good job. Big two points here. I dropped many for you as well in the middle of the... Did you get yeah, them? Yeah. I took them. Gabby, you are now team. You are in the running for teammate of the year for day two. I mean, oh, she preemptively long. drops the minis. <laughs> Look at that. He was like, I'm good. He had a scoped AR. Can I take it? Yeah. So I like how she asked, but she already had it. Uh, like, yeah, can, can I, I take, take it? it? Good, because you didn't have an option <laughs> anyways. Yeah, yeah, that choice wasn't yours. Hey, so. I mean, we know Gabby's, uh, she's got that pinpoint accuracy, so just pass her the scope they are. Here you go, Gabby. Take shots. But now they've got to start moving. The storm is kind of slowly making its way over. Ames and Amar, I mean, pff, can't speak highly enough of these guys. We see them, uh, we saw, pretty much I've seen them play every week. This is one of the scariest situations to be in. Limited resource count, build battle. Oh, man. Well, he could. I feel like he could have actually brought the whole structure down. I don't think it was supported by much. I mean, but he used stone and metal. This is so strong, right? Uh, yeah. It's gonna take more time than usual to bring this battle down. All right, so he takes the med kit. His teammate's not too far. Oh, someone brought the battle down. I say his teammate did. Oh, he takes a shot. Oh, that's a little shot. What a shot right there. Hey, they trade. Tree. Can his teammate clutch up now? He's hiding behind this. Yep. Oh, he gave the wrong call. He says he's going for the revive. Then it, it kind of called off. Someone's, someone's shooting him from the back here. Ames is desperately trying to get to Amar, just trying to protect him. But they're that or third party. I would go for the point here, not the teammate. Um, has gone home. So look, Amar, Am Amar's a little bit safe. Oh, he secures the elimination. Scott's the finest player. Time is ticking. There's another squad on the way. No, oh, he's standing there. He says, you know what? He's going to go all the way up. He, he can't. takes these shots, man. These guys are watching this battle closely here. He's got to get this elimination and forget about the player above. Pressure is on right now to hunt down this player. One AR bullet, nine slugs, 46 small ammo. That, that's what I'm saying, like. Oh, get your point, man. This is not this is not the greatest place to be. Oh, just checking out the kill fee there. Lay eliminated Skite. Skite is so good, so that shakes up how things are gonna play out in the long run here. What a shot. He finds a player. That is what he needed. So now, that's his last mat right there. Oh my gosh. All right, Lucky him, he owns these. It's a shot right there. Start using just a shot. Oh look at the look, 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 no, go get your Yeah, yeah, get the stuff. He didn't have much. He didn't me. have much. But I mean, it's still ammo. Get he's the gotta, ammo. He's got to get the one to the right. Yeah, it's more right risky, though. Up. Just get out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's, it's That's nothing. One build. He had 13 bullets. Oh. Okay, never mind. There we go. There's oh, all one the bullets. One build turns into... Okay, so here's all here's the these play. builds. Here's what I want to see. Monster, you ready? Here's what I want to see. What's you have the three again? impulse. Okay, impulse straight up. No, no, no. Blow the floor. No. Box, heal, dude. What? No, no, no. Monster, no. No. Okay, well, I would have impulsed, and then I would have fallen to my death. So you're probably right on this. <laughs> uh, he'd be out his mind to try and attempt the impulse right there. I mean, hey, wait, oh, look, he's got a rift to go. Dude, they're going to use it. They only have, they have, well, so they've got 50 seconds. Uh, zone is at Tomato Temple, by the way. Oh, they're probably going to end up using this rift to go. So if we stick around here, we might see our first taste of rift to go action. And a battle commences. Just putting down. They're coming pressure. off the zone. This is a great team to pressure right now. You know, at the very least, they're somewhat affected. That's a dive down land in Look. the build. Oh. Raise shots and Razor. Is that Lazar? Tam yeah. Razor goes down. They confirm the elimination. Let's see ya. Nakita. Oh, but oh, Evil's no. down. Man, he split away there from Evil, and that was just the window that this oh, enemy needed. Weź pod kiesz, ty masz spokojnie. Now keep in mind, there was still that uh, rift to go. It's still in push. play. I didn't push right here. Mm. Do you think he just goes for it here? I mean, look, the storm's already in. You kind of got to, right? Uh, it's, it means it's a tough call. He can wait it out, right? He's got a little bit of time on his side because... 
Of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing nice and patient. Takes out DK. No, no, no. All right, he needs to get up, get everything he can, and just leave. He's kind of go. unfortunate he didn't find Master, though. Over to Reckons and Wizard. A little more Reckons action here. Look, they're Lots fighting in the tree line. This he is wants to get above these trees, and that's exactly why he catch herself. And he's exposed. Oh, can not even react. That's how fast those shots landed there. Takes down Evil One with a point blank double barrel. He knows exactly where this player's at. He's got him boxed out. Is he going to make the edit play? Oh, you saw he, he uh -oh. waited for. He owns it. There it is. Nice play. Say hello. Gets taken out here by Reckons and Wizard Joe. I mean, you know, you got to say hello to the double barrel because, I mean, that's just what happened. We actually just saw SSK in the kill feed not too long ago as well. So they, they are already racking up eliminations. Look, he's sitting at four. Near Lonely Lodge, yes. Everyone converge on Tomato Temple. Yeah, you see the zones pushing everyone north here. Dude, look at him. Like, he's pretty stacked right now. The, I mean, oh, he only, is extremely stacked. Yeah, the only thing that he could use more of is like, if he had like a few more minis and like a little more mats, but I mean like, what a great spot to be going into late game right now. Absolutely, just the fact that he has a grenade launcher here is gonna play a big part in what he could do as a solo player. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna look to try and clean up fights at range, so. He can, he can jump on any base with that and potentially start with a, like a straight up knock. That's true, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's how good the grenade launcher is. He's gonna go with the full reload here, so he's, he's absolutely ready. You know, I didn't even think about it, but the grenade launcher, if, if there's two duos that are going at it and he just rips the whole structure oh, down, yeah. that's just four eliminations gonna oh, hit the players board. right below him. He's noticed that's a hedge. Oh my, oh my. 72. And just like that, it's a 1v1. He still has the high ground. Box play was attempted there, wasn't enough. Look at the quick elevation, just one, two, one, two. Ooh. Oh, oh mistakes are made right there. It turns the battle around. All of his face are rushing goes down. Legend. And now look, he's got a gold rocket launcher. He's got half shields. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. There was a chug jug in play there. I don't know if he if it dropped or who needs it. He's got minis. He's by himself. He's probably not gonna have 15 seconds to use it. You know, just start juggling it into the circle. You know, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you like to see. <laughs> oh, here's a player on the knee, but method Grass goes down. Mucin is eliminated. But you know what? He's just picked up. Uh, SK picked up two more eliminations. So he could be if his teammate doesn't have any, he's two more away. Back over to Tinny. Oh, oh my gosh. So he takes a shot and then re-engages here with Love the Love to see the minigun. Oh, wow. Looks like another team saw that and jumped in that. It, I think it was the same team that he fired at. all his crack here. He's got to get high ground. There he oh, goes. Oh, what a shot on Jay Biz. Biz. Kin starts close by, but where? Ah, man, he doesn't have any heals. Oh, there's you see him down there? Spotted right there. I mean, I feel like at this point, you just no, minigun you out, right? Absolutely. And look, this is across the way, so now you can kind of see uh, Kai style trying to take shots. watching this battle, and... Is that Tinny? Oh, it makes was! Pay for it, watching the battle. I told you there were some shots coming in from a distance. It was high styled. He's been hitting snipes all day. And that's that's kind of like the high-risk, high-reward play that minigun, man. You're just if, a if you're Kinstar target. right now, either dive on Etnix or dive on the, the knock right there on, on Tinny. Okay, so he's got a med kit. He's gonna be back up to full health. He's at he's at max now. He's good. And I mean, you said it though. He knows that one of these players gone, has gone down. He needs to make a play because if not, he's gotta, he's gotta, gotta get revived. Yeah, a, probably the only opportunity he's gonna have a one v one here. Please being too passive, man. Fight or flight. It's really just like one or the other. You can't stay here and let everything get reset because then you're back in the same bad position for not making a move. A player jumps down. Oh, he can, he can actually, yeah, just edit his way down on this one. That's the wrong, ed oh, just barely misses that one. Gets blocked out here, lands a shot, that's a trap. Yeah, that was Jarl. Tinny is summer, I mean, I'm assuming Tinny Best part about this, if that was Jarl, Tinny's weak. Oh, can he capitalize here? He does, that's a two. Oh, no, it's gosh. a two tick, he can't actually heal. I, yeah, he it was worth it though, to pick up two, putting himself to four at least, Yeah, so worth. Back over to High Style. We saw him take down Tinny earlier. He's trying to make his way into the new circle. Crazy. He's by himself, rotating without building. You gotta love the guts and the game sense on these players. You see him hopping over bullets right now. Okay, High Style, take out. Look, no, no, the bolt. There you don't it is. want those windows, not against him. Oh my gosh, that so was close. so unbelievably close. All right, down to his final bandages now. We're still at 25 players, Monster. I think he's going way too high here. So they just need to create a window. Create a window. That's the bait. He takes it. Someone up top is going to knock him. That's true. That's true. 
The tension is building here in the final circles. Now, unfortunately, we moved away from Tomato Town. I'm upset. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah, Gotaga yeah, with the new hair. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, liking it. What's up? Let's see what's going on here. They're so close to the new circle. Yeah, this is a great circle for them. Ooh, look at that. Go top. Oh! <laughs> Finds hey, it. There it yeah, is. That's worth the dance, man. That rambunctious dance. There it is. So now, I mean, they're not... They, their backs are to the circle, so they can kind of just, like, edit back and then... Yeah, and they own all this, so... Nice reuse. At least they get their value worth, right? Yeah, exactly. Look at this. They find more loot. Man, his teammate must be stacked. That was an extra 170 wood there and 200 brick. Look at this. They just edit their way back. Closing it out. Tunnel back over. And now the storm comes in in about 50 seconds. And they can just make their way back in the circle here. Yep, they're making it hard for anyone that might be coming from that way to recycle their builds. And look, so now he can say, look, what did you, what did you take? What did you, here you go, split all the materials. It's crazy, the elimination feed has just gone quiet. So yeah. everyone is really trying to make the right decision in play for placement right now. Yeah, and I think it, it's interesting because of uh, where they are fighting. Wailing Woods, man, the tree line, difficult to uh, fight. And, and that's why you don't see a lot going on because that visual blocker. So you have so much people around you. And what a, what a shot right there. Man, this double barrel, man. It's just a fun weapon to see. Look, SK. So again, SK needs two more eliminations to put eight on the board and get the big bonus by himself. That's assuming his teammate doesn't have any eliminations. Look, how, many, how many players do you think are actually in the trees right now? <laughs> like in the trees? Yeah. Uh, I want to say at least two. <laughs> I hope. Dude. So I, like, I like what he's doing here. He's, he's taking farming. a mass on the way. That's right. Yeah, he's farming. Taking care of his rotation. And look, the, the interesting thing is... Uh, okay. Nope. Just he knows moving. the player right there. He saw the base. There you go. Just very methodically oh, farming here. Oh, God. He's solo dolo in the air. Dude, I don't know. This is... So, I, I don't like, think anyone's I like looking up. Doing. Yeah, I don't think anyone's doing. looking up because it's too... It's not easy. You just assume no one's going to be this high above you. Might as well get to the middle now, SSK. Oh, oh. oh. oh what a oh, range to be at. That's great shot right there. Mikolaj goes down. That means Gotaga's here. If he can just bounce the grenades right, he's going to find those eliminations he needs. If he can get this, they are so loaded material-wise, it's crazy. He finds Mikkel out. Explode. Okay. He bounced down. I feel like he should have bounced forward rather than straight down. High South just got Mick, uh, Fixer, which means Gabby's by herself right now. These are trades happening all across now. Things are popping off as people are trying to get to the zone. He needs one more elimination. He wants Gotaga here. I think, yeah, he went to the right there. I feel like just focus on the player on your left, right? If this player is pushing That's forward like this. tree's kind of like in the way, though. Oh, oh that was not. great. Use your bouncer, man. You got to capitalize on this. Knox is down. If he can confirm this, he's got the big bonus. He's got to go for it. It's one. Get the knock. That's all you need. They ripped it out. Hey, that's perfect. Did he take the teammate with him? Ooh, nope, you no, couldn't. He <laughs> can't. So he, now he's activated big bonus. He's at Great. eight eliminations. Man, this rift to go, man. Dominating peekaboo. Trying to secure eliminations. Another one right there on Amazons. So is Amar close? He's got to break these walls around him. He can't edit any of these. There's enemy wall to his left. Oh, he's in a dangerous situation. At least rotate the ramp. Yeah, look at 17 this. players left alive, monster. Yeah. Fighting in the tree line that is Wailing Woods. They have zone, though. They'll be all right. Who doesn't have zone? Gotaga. Gotaga's in the middle of a war zone right now. Oh, man. Zacubus is still here. E4. Look at that base. Right there. It looks like a t <laughs> looks his own temple. He's got a oh, nice level. knock on the Vic. Vic. Yeah, he's going with the C4. And oh, just barely misses it by Ellie. He blows him up. Yeah, you watch behind. I've got the side. This is this is where things are going to start to get weird, right? Because there's so many trees now. If like we saw before, metal players are above the actual trees. Yep. Oh no! You're going to go in there and save your teammate? You got to go get something. Not the window. Oh. <sighs> Too slow so there. Close. It's okay, I mean, it, probably nothing he would have been able to do either way. He's got to move yeah. on the storm. I mean, he's, look how low he was. I mean, if he had yeah. gone through, he's got to reload that <laughs> shotgun though. Blood and Beehive still here. 
12 players so left in this down. game. Oh, I mean, oh, oh there's a player! In with them. Double barrel just okay, everywhere right now. They're trying to try it out! Big! Big! No! What is happening? Big! Oh my gosh, I thought that was... Oh, oh, nice style gets the another trash. point here. Wow, look at that. He's, like, <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> feeling it, dude. I love seeing players still having fun, even though this is kind of a competitive setting. They're still laughing, still having a great time. You love to see it. Nine players left, Monster. We're final top ten. Did he just, like, try to flick, but... Yeah, he just barely missed that one. So a bunch of players. Look, Mitro and Svenos still oh, yeah. alive. But they don't have any eliminations. Maybe it means every up. single battle here matters. Uh, without a doubt, they're probably going to get one. They have a long rotation here, which means they got to show Build themselves, right? Street, Someone's yeah. going to pick a fight. I don't see a bouncer here. I don't see a launch pad being set up. So maybe they are going to set up a launch pad. Who knows? They're putting walls down. Uh, Can he actually sky base this, though? He doesn't have that many mats. I feel like, yeah, just build over this thing. The thing is, oh, someone just bounced. This. Takes the high ground. It, oh, by surprise here. This is a full dive now. We talk about getting elimination. He's going to get one right here. There you go. Finds Zachary. Exactly go. Doesn't get to pick Seven up the uh, campfire, unfortunately. Uh, he's kind of overbuilding here. I think he's got to relax just yeah, a bit. Build just build floors. And uh, honestly, also just Where? recycle your teammate. Planks. Trying to build up. So now look there. Whoa, He's someone else is here. What a calm call out. He said someone build up. Stay up, stay up. Five so players left. So SK here, we seen, I mean, this guy's been a terror here in this lobby. SK still with this the heavy small. elimination count. He is trying to work this solo big bonus right now. All right, so who, who do you think we've got in this game right now? We know we have three players, there's five left. Right, we just stepped away. High from styled, Mitro, Svenos, and SSK. Try and get some. There's one more player though. We're we're not accounting for one. Mm. There's one player. Well, okay, these trees only have 50 health. Okay, this one doesn't. Healthy tree. That's a win. <laughs> <laughs> hey, free mats, right? Yeah. Everyone matters. Look at look at this material count. 50 on the wood, 150 on the metal. Look, they have to start moving now here. again. Just go down. This There's one player there. Yeah, you want to recycle here? You said it. Just go down. Uh, can't just, really stop. I, I don't think they want to build. To, like, just I, I say you stand on what they're building. Jump. One player down just below. Just roof panel over it, you know. I oh, I'm one. one. That was big. Dominate was the okay, extra player so we had a lot yep. here. So it, everyone's else, it, like individuals, it's two v one right here. They S find. Hey, could not get the big bonus. Oh my <laughs> gosh! It hit him with the capoeira. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Mitro man. and Svenos. And honestly, I'm not surprised. I mean, we've seen Mitro show up in games like this. He's used to winning games like this. He always makes it to late game. We saw all, all day yesterday. We'd be like, That's "Yeah, right. we're top 10," and we just hopped in. And we're like, "Wait, they're alive? They're here?" Yeah, yeah. It's coming out of the woodworks with that one. Man, oh man, we have to check out the final moments coming in from that last game, cause wow. And it, there's always so many decisions you can make, right? Like. I felt like they were playing it really close, using, uh, you know, not using the mats, but instead they decided, hey, it's the right play, and I mean, it works out for them. There was saw. nothing SSK could do here without yeah. any uh, shield. You saw him jump down, though. He saw, he knew there was a player there, so he jumps down right. to try and snake that player before being eliminated, and then it's just too late. He's like, okay, they took him, and then he immediately boxes up, and they both, without skipping me, jump down, take him down for the game. Unbelievable. Let's check out the highlights coming in from this game. Let's relive some of these crazy moments. Yeah, we caught, we caught this one early on. Nice little split here by the teammate. The distraction happens. And then up and over with the drum. Puts him down. Gets a second. Nice hey, little cleanup you. there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say hola, Tixi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, Tinny. Look, I mean, you know. It was, it, was, it was a great snipe. It kind of sucks he couldn't capitalize on it, right? Yeah. But hey, he was. if it, someone else has secured the elimination, it would have been a free point, so. Ooh, that was community. Uh, this must have been a community oh, submitted right there. Some good teamwork. I mean, can't, gotta love seeing Roby here. No way. First shot on three rounds. That far. <laughs> wow. 209 What a meters. burst. That's probably the longest I've seen in a while. Yeah. And I mean, SK, we saw him drop that massive eight bomb here for the big bonus by himself. I mean, I feel like he played this very masterfully, you know? 
Absolutely. And it, this is also uh, shout out to Keenstar on this play right here. Patience to get to get two players, you know, turn this kind of situation around. Although he gets eliminated yes! afterwards. In the you heard the celebration right there. Yeah. Blood and Beehive, man. These guys have just been on it all day. Assistant squad right here. Boom. Double barrel, man. Scary, dude. So much fun seeing this weapon. You can see these guys are using that quick ADS on the shot right there. Finds Fixture. And then here are the final moments coming in from this game. They just find SK. And I mean, you know, they, they I think they played it right. They're playing as aggressive as they could. They just, no matter what happened, they played, played that it, one played player. It down to the wire mm -hmm. and then capitalize an opportunity when they expose themselves. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was good for them, too, that they got the extra eliminations they really needed. They didn't have any leading up to that point. So for them to kind of catch the one that was out in the open, big dominate, and then, you know, get SSK, that was great. It was exactly what they wanted. Definitely. Let's take a look at the current standings coming in from this last match and see where players have placed. So there you go, SSK. I mean, you you dropped the eight bomb. So his teammate didn't have any. So he by himself. Just on that by himself, right? Look at look at that. Puts him into overall uh, for for this match for this match three first place. Yep. And then Svenos and Mitro right behind them with that victory out three eliminations. You talked about it. So I every single one matters. One of them. That's right. High styled and evil right behind them. Now keep in mind that's all eliminations. They got seven as a duo there. Kinstar and Jabez as well. They were one away from making big points. Man, oh man. This, I mean, the action is so close. Everyone is just playing so top tier right now. I mean, you love to see it. You yep. really do. Let's also take a look at the overall setting. So again, we're working toward cumulative points. And look at the consistency. We were just talking about Beehive and Blood. Man. Still at 23, very high on the boards here. That's right, 21 for block and fix. Uh, Kinstar JB is right behind them at 20. And then, I mean, look, the, the and points are starting to close uh, in a little I was going to say, for clarity, guys, this is the overall, right? From all the games up until this point, match three, this is how well they've played so far. Total cum uh, points cumulative. Man. Just an awesome set of first three games. But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, we still have two games heading your way. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I hope we can see more snipes. I think you guys at home should be just ready. Let's just have like a have yourself a little snipe counter. Just <laughs> get something you can write on. See how many snipes you can rack up for the rest of the day. But uh, you want any any final thoughts before we take a break here? Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the show so far. And, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel lot, good, dude. It's a lot of awesome it's games for sure. So definitely, ladies and gentlemen, you guys take yourself a little five-minute break. Go get a snack, get something to drink. We'll be uh, right back in five minutes. See you soon.
What's up, guys? We are back. Week seven of the summer skirmish. I'm Zeke. That's Monster. Look how beautiful that man is. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you guys enjoy your break? We hope you are enjoying all the action you've been watching today. Three games down, two games left to go. You guys are probably wondering if you're just tuning in what the format is, so let's very quickly touch on that. Every week we swap up the format. This week is big bonus, so we're only going to play five matches, and players are fighting for the most points. Uh, uh, eliminations are worth one point. Victory Isle is worth five. And if your duo can find eight or more eliminations, you get an additional five points. So you drop an eight bomb, you get basically five elimination points value for free. On top of that, yep. I mean, we've already seen a bunch of players. That's a nice we, We've seen bonus. players come short. We've seen players get it. Like, yeah. you know, it's a little bit of everything so far. That's right. And the pricing will be broken down per match. But in addition to that, players are accumulating these points, and at the very end, they will receive a cumulative prize. So everyone's a winner today, basically. Everyone's a winner. There's a big prize bonus at the end. So we've already showed the overall standings, showing you guys where people are. Uh, so every single elimination matters, and that'll add up into that big prize bonus. Yeah, man. I mean, it's been exciting. Uh, for you guys at home, don't forget to hit us with that hashtag, Summer Skirmish. Send us your favorite clips. Let's have a conversation. What do you think about the format? Are you enjoying it? Let us know what we can do better. Talk about this guy watch his content let us know how he's helped you level up i mean i've definitely learned a lot from you thank you even from just talking outside of like the games and stuff like when we have time to hang out yeah it's pretty just awesome. like hey zeke you know about this and i'm like <laughs> what <laughs> like hey man you should have watched that video <laughs> yeah right <laughs> right but here we go match number four of the day man oh man what do you think man what are you what are you hoping to see monster uh, just more of everything we've already gotten. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like these matches are flying by. People are getting dropped yeah. left and right. Highlights. It's just a lot of action. I think that last game was one of the most intense stalemates we've had because of a, you know, forest ending. You know what I mean? Just being in the forest like that is kind of hard for people to, you know, spot each other. So. Yeah. Good stuff. Mar uh, Jari and Ma uh, Pleasant. Pleasant. Park. Okay. You know, we haven't really seen a lot of Pleasant Park. We saw NA scene a little bit of high distortion in Pleasant Park and some. Yeah. Some highlights there, but as far as the EU guys, uh, who's five. been in Pleasant? This is a good place to be right now. It's interesting to like see the the differences and how like both yeah, regions land. Right. You almost see like NA pick these higher uh, profile like POIs, yeah. and then EU's like, no, 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 no. We're gonna like pick this weird obscure spot, and then suddenly we're gonna show up with like a bunch of loot, and then we're just gonna have an all-out war, and it's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna snipe someone. You're gonna it's just clip it. Just clip this the whole might thing. be actually great. It looks like they probably have this place themselves, so they're gonna have a nice comfortable start for DJR. Noisy and Rasmussen. They land near retail row. These are like the little houses there. Just another, south. another popular location for just a low key okay, touchdown. And they don't have much in the way of loot, but I mean, they've got a little bit of time. They can farm up. You know, to be honest, for, for landing in one single uh, house, look at what he's got. I mean, he's got a full, well balanced loadout from shield down to long range. Like, this is a great, ideal loadout. Yeah, and immediately we see the kill feed light up. Right, right. Reflection just taking out incredible orb. They saw incredible orb doing so good so far. So kind of, you know, unfortunate for him to get taken out. But this just happened in retail. So the players have this knowledge as well. They're going to come in. Oh, that that's a pop shot right there. This guy's got no shield. That's one. Hits a player for 25. He said blue right there. So he knows he's got shield. Gets a nice little quick call out. Players up above him. They're trying to like the ramp play here. What else? Uh, I mean, What's you might as well secure this, right? Oh, he's, oh, he he's the teammate. Now oh. everything changes here. Now here's the thing. He's got to try and he's, make He's got to box his, he's gotta box his teammate. Uh, commit. Uh, commit. Uh, he's trying to no. say to come to me. No, loses him. I feel like he should have gone for high ground there. He had the opportunity to, and he kind of like choked up there. He wasn't really sure what he wanted to do. The hesitation cost him positioning. Yeah, look, it's like he could have already drank this mini, right? He's just yep. waiting. I think the pressure's on him right now. And here's the thing, that's that makes a sound. So now this player above him goes, okay, he just drank a mini, he's below me. But that's also an intimidation factor, right? You right. know your enemy's shielded up. And he already hit him for blues. Oh, that was a natural bleed out right there. Yep. So now he's trying to figure out what to do. He's trying to just listen in. I don't I don't blame him for not moving. Defense is a little easier to play at times if you know what you're doing, so we'll see if he can capitalize. Razor just got a knock right there. Mitra just got a knock right there. Razor picks up elimination. Kill feed is popping off here. You can see a lot Someone of action. Someone else is here. Oh, another monster. team shows up. This is perfect for him. He just got. Oh well. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. That's a team of two. Dude, go right now. Go now. Right now. now. Perfect. Oh. It takes a big chunk. If I'm him, I edit the wall. I get the elimination. You think so? Yeah. Just secure it, right? Get that extra point. Yeah. Because that'll be two. 
two put you in near top 20. Mm. He's opting to take the long way around. Maybe he's just feeling like, you know, I mean, it's maybe like a little bit of nerves. He's just trying to disengage, just catch I mean, his breath, yeah, go back Yeah, a lot in. of everything, right? You want to apply pressure so you're, you know, the enemies don't kind of bounce back. But you want to take advantage of the knock, right? Because this is totally doable. I think at this point that player has been revived, right? They're probably I don't know, he shot up. a few, you know? He could have been enough pressure, but yeah, I think he's gotten picked up at this point. Especially when you're, like, listening in, you can hear bandage and stuff. You just go for it, right? It's only Another 10 road. seconds. And, I mean, well, yeah, he's just taking so road much road. time here. He's trying his best to use the third, you know, uh, angle, like the camera angle that here. Comes. Sees that that was where the player was, but they're not there anymore. The they rebuild the ceiling. Ooh, slips down. Just trying to keep high ground. Now, here's the thing. He only has 16 bullets, six shotgun shells, and seven sniper rounds. That's where you put the pickaxe to work. Yeah, man. And honestly, look, he only has mats to build two things right now, Monster. See, he hasn't even battled yet. He's expended all of his mats, just resetting off his mistakes. Oh, nice shot right there. There is no shield on his player. It's a 1v1. Oh, that guy has 60, but even for whites, he can do this. Come on. Oh, no. Did you hear the clicking? He went to fire, and he was out of ammo. He could have honestly did that. Those guys missed every shot. Taking, uh, cracking shots here at range in Puebla. What do you call this place, by the way? What do you like to call this place? It, it, for me, it just doesn't have a name. It's just that it's spot so down near where all the loot. You want to go there? <laughs> you know, like, it, it's just like that. I, I used to call it Cowboy Town for so long, and I've I love people call it different the controlled things. fire right here, Zeke. Look at this. Tap, tap, tap. So he hasn't low. held trigger once. No, He's hitting ball. so many of his shots. Nice controlled burst fire. Except for when the drum gun comes out. Yeah, you just go for it. <laughs> Oh, it's from here. Yep, yep, What's there. That? He's up top. He's up top right there. Watch him tap fire. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's got a sniper now. He's going to hold. No, no, he, yeah, he's no face somewhere. Yeah, he's, I think he's up either on that structure or within it. I, I want to see him aim and just, you know, just beam this player down. What did Mars? Hopping over here, broken and massive. Uh. Near Junk Junction. Oh, he's playing with motion oh, blur on. You don't see this very often. Makes the game look crazy. Dude. Yeah, like it looks like high resolution HD, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I like this. He takes a oh no, shot. three <laughs> HP. Can't even take fall damage now. Every every play here matters. He doesn't even have a shotgun for close quarter, only a drum gun to rely upon with 11. But look, he's got the boogie monsters. So you just gotta make, he's gotta ha he's gotta start the dance battle. And then hope his team can call all of his teammate here. Uh, there you go. Him up, back him up. Pop nice him up. job. All 11 <laughs> land on me, on and me, drop that me. player. Switches weapons. Doesn't go for the reload. It's going to go on and reset this player here. It's a count, man. He's got to land one, one, one shot. Nice, nice job. Nice, dude. That was an awesome way to split up. And look, he's got a, a slurp juice, so he's going to be okay. What a payout right there. Fix and block and lazy links. They down one player. He's got a heavy sniper. Secures the elimination. Doesn't want to stay there because he doesn't own these walls, but notices that there's a player right to his side here. Wait, he just ran past him. I don't think he noticed. No, I don't no, think no, he no, did. No. 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 Where was it? The white skin? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah this he player. ran right by him. Yep. He looked at him and just yeah. didn't catch oh, no, him no, off no, the no, corner no. of his eye, dude. It's okay though. He's gonna get his teammate. At up. least he's able to save his teammate, like right? Uh, I feel like he should have ended that wall there. Probably should through a wall, but hey, hey you know what? It's okay. Oh, this I, I'd say sorry. that's the adrenaline, dude. He's like, Ugh, player here, the wall. Forget it, dude. Yeah, just, <laughs> just get up. We need to go. <laughs> just gotta get out of here. <laughs> Jake the Brit, and on screen, they are at Paradise Palm. Yeah, what's up, Thomas and your name? They're gonna probably dude. stop by Station 99 oh, and find himself a little like slurp juice. You know, maybe stay at the hotel. It's a nice relaxing play to really take a vacation. Oh yeah. I like this rotation here. They know there was a player here, or at least a team kind of battled out. It's a couple ramps and stuff. But with all these vehicles left behind, you can kind of assume that okay. someone came through here, left. So if they want, they can capitalize on this. Oh, they that, heard that was, a player. There was someone in, in there. Yeah, right in the blacktop. You saw there was like that little burst nice of something breaking. Here. Holy the drum. It's dude. SSK. So SSK, fantastic player. We saw a dominant performance uh, on him just around the four. Gotta reload. Man. Now the question is, can his teammate come in and clutch things up? His teammate's in the building here just southwest. Oh, like, it's one building over. On it's, the gonna be, it's gonna be a rough side, one. I mean, he, he's, oh, he's fighting a, a player with oh, full is. shield and HP. Just taking some time, farm up some materials. You know, those are important as well. Gotta capitalize. There's another guy here somewhere. Taking a look at uh, Kinstar and J-Biz. They're inside Greasy Grove right now. 
Look, they just want a Royale with cheese, okay? They want a double Royale with cheese. They're just trying to make the way to the Dirt Burger. There's people in the way, Monster, you know? Yeah, we got multiple angles here. Nice shot right there. That's all shield gone. Kingstar's gonna have that call out to him. He's gonna be able to take uh, full advantage of this right here. Yup, that was the player immediately downs like and do. And that's right. Chug. Yup. That was important because his teammate was the reason that was able to happen that way, right? He lands those critical shots. And look, J Biz was already uh, had acquired the, his enemy here. Dude, I am loving his communication right here. Uh, Boom. Nice job. Look, Making it look easy, man. They also have that Chug Jug back there. And I'm going to use the Chug Jug right there, to be honest, and just take the shield to go. And they also have that Slurp Juice, man. They're, they're set. Over to Gabby and Fixter here in Shifty Shafts. Uh, who's that? Oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, just a casual grenade bouncing overhead. No, no problem. I was going to say, I mean, if it hit the, the side of the ramp, it got to be next to you. It's a weird angle to get uh, a grenade coming in. I think, yeah, there they are there. That's your, you, right? Gabby yeah, flanking from the right. Be careful in these super close quarter areas. Either to not get hit from behind or not get hit with an edit here. Good. Nice job. Yeah. Gabby picking herself up another elimination. He's here, above He's us. Pushing. Oh, snap. There's I'm another right team here. I'm coming to you. Okay, okay, trying to find exactly where they no, might no, be. No, 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 no. They're using grenades, okay. Trying to claim the high ground here, trying to go disengage. for it. Disengage. Yeah, disengage. I like the call right there to disengage, was nice. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Reunited. Nice. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> they take shots, though. Look, so that player is up in that box, up on high ground. Yeah, she's got to use these minis. Give me. Nice split right there, really quick. Look, it's Skite. Skite's the player they're fighting right now. And Skite can totally do this. We saw him go on a mayhem yesterday. And this is why, right here, capitalizing his high ground over two players. So it's a 2v1 build off. Ooh. Oh, he gets hit pretty good by Gabby, it looks like. He tries to go for the edit play. But they are working for together, it. making this very I difficult. I I he's he's doing doing everything he, say, he can. Face. It's not going to be an easy 2v1 here. There you go. So they've given him enough time to breathe. I feel like they should have just kept the pressure on, but... You, know, you gotta got to reload. You got to reload, right? <laughs> that's, that's true. He's trying to make this quick play. Oh, they're deciding to try and break the whole thing. He realizes, kind of moves down just a little bit. And catches him exposed. That's a big, big, chunky shot right there. Remember, both of them were only on mini shields. So right. that player now has no more heals. Fixer and Gabby had no more heals. They expended everything there. So to lose that much, uh, you know, shield, that's important. Oh my god. All shield gone there, we just talked about it. Now Gabby's done. He's got the high ground. I mean, doesn't have a lot of mass, but he has enough to hold his positioning. I think he full sends here and probably dives on this player. He's just trying to find where Fixer might be. He's got no heals. Is Fixer there? Is he down yeah, there? He is there. He's in the he's tucked. He's in the corner. Yeah, he's tucked right here. Oh, the, the edit. edit! Look at wow. how happy that was. <laughs> Always got to be con uh, conscious of what is And this is why we saw Sky drop a 20-point game yesterday. Yeah, man. Just fearless. And you saw he, he was just, like, waiting for that opportunity to go in. Holding holding proper positioning in every fight. Look at that. So now we know where this new circle is going to be. Goofy here in Tilted Tower's very edge of it. Goofy looked like he was taking his time reading that map. <laughs> like, he was like, all right. I'm going to go here. I'm going to make. I'm gonna walk <laughs> along this He's path. By himself. I mean, it matters, right? Yeah. But I mean, look at his kid. It's pretty good. Might have hurt someone. He just kind of went right back into that house. Kind of spooked him to build up there. Got a minute. Oh, yeah, there's an explosion. You hear it? Mm -hmm. He's trying to get on in on fire. a fight here. I feel like you just... I would have just uh, built floors and the ramp up on this building. Maybe she's trying to make less noise. Yeah, I think what the problem is, whatever team is kind of engaging on one another, they're not fully committing to battle. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... They're making noise, but not enough noise for him to be like, all right, it's time to go now, right? Yeah, exactly. See, like, if he shoots the RPG here, I think it's premature, but hey, he might be able to make it, and he oh, does. He knocks. Breaks the wall just in time to get that explosion damage off. Yeah, and he just and, oh, what a, what a, this is the perfect uh, thing to find right here. Now he's going to be able to melt that player while they're in the box. There you go, broken. The elimination. <laughs> Dealt it and smelt it. You see that in the kill feed? <laughs> oh, Broken goes down. Yep, he's he lost a teammate here, so now he's got access to more loot. That's right. Soar Rocket and Rock. 
They're just north here. So they're actually down below Tilted Tower. So they probably hear some of this action Ooh, happening. Look at these edits right here. That was really, really fast. Well played. Working his way to high ground. He doesn't own these walls. He's left and right hand sides. He might want to take those. Look at that. He's, oh, no. He heard the rocket, so immediately edits straight down. Yeah, that's a quick proper decision here. Goes to uh, finish off someone here. Finds a rift to go. Has a spot in the inventory for it. Perfect. He needs to jump up on a floorboard here. Yep, he does. And this player oh. tries to make an edit. Well, trap. I killed him. I killed Beautiful him. Beautiful trap. Highlander guy. Followed by the shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He eliminates high styled. The question is now, will we see snipe clips in this game? I still hope so. <laughs> I love 30. I love the quick campfire play, followed by the uh, the trade out of, you know, job, shield and whatnot. So the these guys are going to be able to tank right back up like nothing place. happened and pick up the extra eliminations. Block and fix. Wow, well, he must have just oh, picked yeah, them up. Oh, nice yeah, elimination yes. here. He's okay, got three. Just made it. Okay. And, and he's enemy got enemy a heavy enemy. sniper, so go ahead and that load out. That out. Two ARs. Nice shot right there. Oh, Utilizing that drum God. gun just to apply pressure. His oh, no. You kind of got to just go in with this one. Where is it? Oh, this player tries push. to come in. Uh, uh, Sword Rock, they must have ripped to go right into this battle. They must or, have. Or unless oh. they were just above them, actually. Yeah. That's where the other fight happened. Reckons and Wizard. What a perfect opportunity. Uh, Reckons so, and Wizard are actually, this is where they're they were. Looking, I was going to say, he, they're looking to dish out some of this, <laughs> their own medicine right back at the Sword team here. Ooh, and exactly ooh, just that, an RPG playing the needle monster. Literally just seen the same play happen from the Sword team. They get paid back right back with it. Does he want to be in a storm? This is ticking for two here. Next does five. So look, this not survive that. Opposite side monster. He's, he's got it. This guy's got a cross. If he doesn't now, he pays for it. Leave your teammate. You think so? Just oh, absolutely. Next storm is five tick. I don't think he's paying attention. And you're gonna see him get just eaten alive now. Oh, oh rift to go. Waits for the. Wow. We couldn't have anticipated that. That was a good uh, Okay. So where he needed to leave, instead he waits to see him died. <laughs> it's like, all right, thanks, man. Later, dude. Um, I, that was it's questionable. <laughs> Your services are appreciated, brother. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well played, man. If he jumps into a trap here. Okay. That would have been real bad. <laughs> so what he's looking for now is the campfire. But he's got to replace all this stuff, man. Look at the materials. Uh, Nine across wow. the board down to the metal. Look at Roby. I just realized in the background, I'm not 100% of what I'm seeing, but it looks like the the love pickaxe in the background. Definitely does. Got a nice little resemblance there. Look at that. Four nice shirt on tune. Okay, Roby. I like you. you I like full, you. Full effect here. 23 players remain. Use a little rooftop so that he can edit through it, get a nice little visual of the area. It's more of a safety strat most people use. So you can see teams, a team building up top. Yeah, so that's a strong base to be on. Especially if they have bouncers or something like that to get off of there. A lot of options on that squad. We, we actually saw Mikolau and uh, Gotaga holding that mountain pretty nicely yesterday as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Question is, are they still alive? Yeah, I thought about it. A lot of teams have the same tendencies for holding spots. So yeah. I, it w really wouldn't surprise me if they're still up there. Because they play off the lucky landing location. Trying to uh, third party this at range. Perfect weapon to try and clean up battles at long range. I love that they're rocking the same outfit, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's you always, it's always fashion. Fashion Ooh. Fortnite. That's what the that headshot. Fortnite stands for, is fashion. So look at this. This is both of their perspectives. They have the storm pressure. He's just rocking them little by little. And that's it. Reckons goes down. Teammates on white. That's another knock on. So each team has a threat or a teammate down, really. They just have to try and clean up. There you go. So that's another elimination. So squad mate gets another player. So they're capitalizing here heavy. Man, let's go. Of the four players out there, they got three of them confirmed. Yeah. Man, so now we're down to 18 players. The storm is coming in. It's This is where things are going to get hectic very, very quickly. That's how confusing it is to edit a rooftop, by the way. He was struggling. Like, oh, no, Tinny just got knocked by Keenstar coming on the rotation from the storm here. And now, look, the new circle is very far away. They need to try and get themselves to safety. Must be Jaro kind of... Plugged up over there, right? Yeah, they're on the left. Now they're going to try choose to disengage. And it looks like uh, Sword Rocket's taken out by the storm as well, so he wasn't able to make it across. 
Okay. And look, look who's so still in cool. game right now, Monster Sky, Sky looking, looking to capitalize on any opportunity. <laughs> this guy, man, is this guy's dangerous? And you know what? We saw him in the exact same position yesterday, where he dropped a twenty-point game. What in the wooden mansion is being built here? <laughs> <laughs> what in the wooden <laughs> mansion, that thing, dude? What is happening? This is the most reinforced wood base. Oh, it makes sense. There's a player underneath. Uh huh. Look at this. So now Sky, it's like, yeah, no, no. You guys fight it out. Seriously. He's more like, good. you guys play with your wood. I got metal, dude. Look nice at job. This. Catches Alex. Rogue Alex underneath the base. So Zacubus is there as well. Okay, right. Instant thirst. Couldn't save his teammate. Right. Zacubus is left alone here now. Oh, snap. He just noticed someone coming from that side. There's still 15 players left alive, Monster. It's oh a lot gosh. of guys here. We're approaching endgame now. No. Uh, oui, oh, there's a guy above him. He tries to edit him to make him falling. You saw that? Look, Roby and Doge, they're up top. Sinister. So they're actually directly above him right now. And they're, they're not even looking down here. They're focusing the complete other direction. Their materials are so limited. 200, man. No, honestly, if they could just dive down and take, like, Rogue Alex's loot, that'd yeah. be great. I mean, oh, that's why they don't want to peek this side. The top player, whoever's up there occupying that base, is sitting so strong here. It's giving them a lot of intimidation. Messing with their play style here. Because as great as they are, as centralized they are, it's just too much going on up there. Contact. Yep, and he tags for 23. Contact, contact. Yeah, you can see the caution using, you know, the floor panels to protect the top side. And look at this build battle we got here. Yeah. Beehive and blue and, and Blood, just a great team. Oh, that's a trap. Oh, there's a trap there, yeah. Okay. Slows stuff down real quick. That's put the stop. Yeah. Using metal in build battle. You know he's being serious. Man, I mean, it's Beehive and Blood, man. 14 players left, Monster. Oh. Look sure. at this. Everyone, no, okay. Everyone's like holding their breath, right? Everyone, no, nothing's happening in the kill feed. No bullets being fired. Yeah, I'm more surprised no one's trying to jump in this fight and bring this battle down. I feel like that's exactly what you need to do, right? Oh, man, he's splitting. All right, so if he splits with his teammate now and he doesn't even have anything, they're hurting for mats. Build battle too oh, strong. So they're actually going to eliminate the slight structure to bring them straight to them. Couldn't really capitalize, Couldn't though. catch him. Someone just got hit by a trap, almost. Uh, it looks like the enemy. Oh, see, he knew he was, he knew not to go in there. Oh boy, they are losing control of the battle here. I, I mean, what do you do in this situation? Do you just disengage? The storm's coming in. Kind of have to. So, so they're at the point to where they've put so much in it, they want to finish it. You know? Yeah. It would be like you know, kind of a disappointment if they couldn't. But Look, perfect for them, the premature disengage on him, they catch Razor off guard. <laughs> Go loot that. <laughs> Get that, dude. Over to Roby again. Okay, gets a mini shield there. There's no mats, though. He's on his last mat. For 10. Oh, is he going to be able to do it? Oh, 10 materials now. Look at that. They're like, he wants this. He hit him for 120 here. 10 players left. Wow. wow. That was blood. Blood just got rocked. Nine players left. Doesn't even reload, just picks up the drum gun. Ugh. No match. <laughs> what do you do here? No! A rock is coming down. <laughs> He's getting oh to the my corner. God. Oh, Sven what? Why am I not surprised? Surprised. Sven was even battling blood on the build oh. battle. They had the high ground. Oh You're not going to take gosh. high ground easy from Mitro and Svenos. Nope, not going to happen. But look, Kinstar, Jbiz, so Svenos, uh, Mitro, Kinstar, Jbiz. Tiki, we're down to players. the last few teams here. Oh, boy. Sven's all the way at the top. These guys are hugging the storm here on the rotation. He's got one rocket left. I got one, no, no. one left. And oh, one left. See, you heard him call With it out, launch pad. Dude, I, I only got 250 mats. Svenos, <laughs> he's feeling the nerves here. Let's go. He tags someone's shield. You're win for the take, and his teammate's got a rocket as well. It's perfect. Oh, they are slowly uh, losing the high ground here. I say you get I'm back up just a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what he goes for. It's kind of elevates himself just a little bit here. He wants to get back up, get comfortable again. And Mitro does the same thing. They don't even need to call this out. They just do it naturally. Yeah, exactly. They know when you're, you know, kind of starts, you know, that advantage starts to slip away. Look at that, Mitro even passes him some of his own maps. Yeah, now putting him up to 200 metal, this is great here. Still six players left as the circle is getting tighter. I think this is a 2v2v1v1, uh, I'm assuming. 
Because if there's another duo <laughs> act, how like, close he is right here. I like how Kinstar was like watching his back. He's like, no, no, you can move. It's okay. You build, I watch your back. There you go. <laughs> They're still trying to move. I mean, look how tiny. Oh, he's gonna yeah. make this edit play here. Watch this. Waits for him to come hey, through. One. It's Skyar. So it's a, it's a full squad here. Everyone's teamed up. He's got to get all these eliminations. These are points. Don't let the storm take that one. That's one. That's hit. That's another one. Teammate follows up. It's just two v two right now. My turn's event at the top. That is not what you want to be facing. Is this, my turn's quite the squad here. Do we have a rift to go to make it happen here? Let's see. This is getting real close. We got the pressure coming in from above, but it's only a P90. So P90 cannot strike through metal, not from that high. You can see they're just applying pressure. They're not trying, they're trying to give them. Also notice he just readied up his three bouncers. He's gonna go for it, I knew it. Jump straight up into the sky, gets traded out for it. That is so unfortunate. Hopefully he keeps his mats in a storm here. Oh. And there's he no healing. Can't. He just can't. He's got to make the play here. Yeah, he just has to go for it. This is it. A 2v1. Svenos and Mitro versus Jay Biz. Oh, they fall in. Mitro, though, secures the elimination. And you saw they had four, uh, seven elims. Yet again, they were so close. Man, what a match number four. Mitro, I mean, look, dude. Why Why are we letting Svenos and Mitro get here? Who's... Who's in charge? Who gave them a five-minute break to charge up again? <laughs> you know what? Those guys. Whoever those guys are. That was well sure played. get eliminated. Wow. I mean, you know, these. this is the consistency that you talked about. Is where, uh, yet again, Svenos and Mitra make it to top 20. Yeah. And then they just start to slowly roll the game, man. And I mean, I brought up in the past Svenos' win ratio. You're talking, like, high 60s, close to 70%. That's that's seven out of like ten games he is going to win mm -hmm. on like just according to stats. Yeah. And not only that, he drops big eliminations in every single game. Especially when paired with Mitro, man. This, yeah, yeah. Nah, it gets it says it's even more glue right there, right? Yeah. Just, guys are just crazy. two players that play at high levels. So we have let's check out the final yeah. moments coming in from this match number four. But man, oh man, I I mean these games have been crazy. That was a, that was a wild one. I mean, so what do you think? Like, in that situation, what do you do? Not like, he made the right play, right? But he didn't do it with his teammate. He's just like, you know what? He saw an opportunity, he snagged it, but was the comms there? Did his teammate know he's just going to bounce up there? It's kind of hard to, like, absorb all this, but, I mean, he went for it. You got to, you got to, you know, give him a little, some props for the play because if he, he would have got that one knock. Yeah, and, you know, we saw that exact play yesterday, though. It was in a 1v1 situation. And it worked out against Cypher. Out. Yes. That was actually, actually yeah, great. That's, that's exactly it. But what's interesting is that when he went for it, and you called it out, is when we come back to Jabez, Jabez was, wasn't moving. He right. Was he should have been trying to build up or capitalize. It. But you know what it was? It was the pressure coming up from uh, the top down. So they were distracted, firing their uh, their weapons down, trying to get to him. So while they were distracting, he went with the bounce play. They must have heard it. Turn around. They both flicked on him. Exactly. See, if he would have got the trade off, Mitro didn't have any shield at that point. Because when he shot at him, uh, you know, it was, it was almost, almost, yeah, right? Very close. So and that's good. just a testament to the, the skill of Svenos and Mitro, right? Because you talked about it. The moment that you hear a bouncer, it's very, it's a very Distinct sound, yeah. And for both of them to, without missing a beat, turn and laser him, and then just be like, oh, he and, and tried even, to bounce even us. before oh, that, as they player. were working their way from the top. Yeah, was, this, uh, they're on back-to-back -back victories here. First of all, yeah. Like they just, <laughs> they just came off a win, and oh we were talking when they, when they were losing the high ground just a bit. They were like, no, quick reset. They didn't even do a call out. They just knew, get back up. It was crazy. Wow. Let's take a look at the final mat moments coming in from match number four on the day and see how Svenos and Mitro secure this victory out back to back. Look at that. Saw the bounce come up. Oh, shit. Quick Do you see flick. that? Quick flick. There we are. And look at this. Now they just know. And they just jump down and secure that victory. Did you see that? So here's the thing. Ice cold. <laughs> ice cold. It's ice cold. We saw the the ramp come up. He bouncered and a ramp come up and the and it act, the shot hit above Svenos's head. So Mitro had the the instinct there was save the teammate. Yeah. And sure enough, together they were able to beam him down. What an I mean that's high level play. It doesn't get Okay, listen, best buds, you got to do this that's, number that's together. <laughs> yeah, it's just instincts wow. kicking in those uh PVP in, uh, situations. I mean, could you what would you what would you have done differently? Nothing. Those guys played it like perfectly, right? You you hear someone come up, you kind of build to defend yourself and then you, you go for the shot right afterwards. They played Man. it out really well.
masterfully played coming out from those guys. Let's take a look at the highlights coming in from match number four. Oh, look at this on screen. I'm talking about the winning team here, just starting things off. I highlights off the bat. This guy, Ooh, man, evil. What a shot. Yoshi taken down. It's the side angle. Hits another crit. Yeah, well played. Locking up these eliminations. Are these guys playing in the same spot? I they are. They're playing, yeah. I think we saw them high five each other earlier. Like, yes. I, is Krom, Kromvel, is he on technically? So they're looking in this, toward this each a, other, but I think they're on the opposite side. That is the Kronvel and Kronvel. <laughs> that, that's their names right there. <laughs> <laughs> they are two and one. Oh my gosh, Skite. I mean, look at this guy, man. It was a great play here. Edit, edit. It feels so good when you get an edit in elimination. Yep. Skite. And then. Oh, that's the reaction. That was on the yeah. other player. That's who he eliminated. He's like, oh gosh, it's Skite. Pretty sure that was Fixed right there. Uh, Ooh! Snipe. Dude. Oh my. He was just. Ca that was a calculated play. Calculated play there. Man, we have one game left for EU. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh my gosh! What do you think <laughs> after all these games so far? I think we've had quite the EU performance. Um, I'm, I'm blown away to be able to cast these matches. I think we've had some memorable moments, without a doubt. Do you have a favorite one so far? Uh, a favorite one so far. Honestly, looking back at it, might have been from NA. It was Fuya freaking out with the first elimination. Yeah. That was that was just a highlight. It feels so good when you see Joy kind of just like blow up out of people and see that everyone takes their own victories and set their own bargains or like margins uh, to hit. And when they hit them, it feels really good. Yeah. Awesome. Anything from EU? EU, uh, definitely Mikalau. Yeah. Mikalau's performance day one was insane. I, I, I can't believe just watching him hit those shots. And actually, the lead sniper shot that I called out earlier, yeah, yeah. that was another favorite moment of mine. I was like, he's going to hit it. And dude, <laughs> you know, long behold, gets a shot off. So yeah, those, those are probably my, my most favorite moments so far. Definitely. What about you guys at home? What's been your favorite moment? Send us uh, your favorite moments with the hashtag Summer Skirmish. What are you enjoying? How are you enjoying the format? Send us your favorite clips. We'll watch them together. Let's Highlights, have a conversation. Clips, screenshots, send it all in. Yeah, man. Definitely. Let's take a look at some of the current community clips that you guys have actually sent our way. Oh, this is when they split. Remember, he gets. Uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Pretty good. I'm uh, all right, guys. Okay. You know, feel free to send us more, though. Yeah. Hey, guys, you, you see something you like, you know, your favorite broadcaster, you send it in, we'll be able to check it out. We've got one game left. One game left. Are you ready? Uh, before we go into that game, we should check out the standings. Oh, we got sit. I we love when standings stand are ready so fast. Oh, woo. Look at that. So after this last game, match number four, Svenos and Mitro, they're at the top. 12. 12 that is a chunky points. number. That means they were they were so close. They had seven eliminations by the end of that. They got, man, one more. Again. Oh, my gosh, guys. It just guys. keeps happening. I mean, consistency, we see Kinstar and J-Biz, and then Sore Rocks and Rocket. Rock, it's a, Rocket. You can see DK and Razoru getting in their groove here, picking up three. Definitely. Let's see who is uh, here in top 20 right now. Broken there, and Loya Fanatic Enix right behind them. These games have been super, super close. And we talk about it. You know, it's just a one-point elimination. Look at all these twos. If they right. found one more elimination, they would have bumped them up in the top 20. Yeah, good to see uh, Loya. Like you said, Loya and Etnix finally get some points on the board. That's good for them. Again, incredible orb just slowly every round. You know, they, they're still getting some points here and there. So I'm, I'm interested in the overall standings, which we have right here as well. Ask and you shall receive, Monster. <laughs> there you go. So let's take a look. So after the four games, Solary, Kinstar, and Lunar Jabez at the top, there were 26 points. Behind them, Beehive and Blub with 25. And look take, here. Take a look at Gabby and Fixer again. <sighs> 12th place, all those little points just adding up. Man, but the, the top five, top six, there's so many points up there. That's right. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, overall standings, top 20 will receive additional prizing. So it's only the top guys in the top 10 that are receiving those bonus. additional right. prizings. Man, oh man. It's been an awesome day, man. What's fun too is we have, we're gonna hop into match number five, but we also have five games later today for NA. Yeah, this is just a warm up, the EU. Uh, definitely setting the bar really high. They did it yesterday, they're doing it today. I mean, you know, go big or go home, right? That's one of my favorite duos right here, by the way. Oh, Obi yeah. And, yeah. I, just, I just like the outfit of choice, you know. Shows <laughs> a little bit of, you know, classic how long they've been playing the game. But, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, also, no, that's from uh, season, uh, season two. Right. Season two.
it's crazy how like initially people were like, oh, you know, it's the beginner skin. No one wants to wear it. Once it becomes like a so thing like, of the past, they're like, oh yeah, I got. I want it. Since then, so right? Like, you know? <laughs> Starting the game with a minigun. There you go. Just walk at people. Okay. There you go. Hi, I got a minigun. You have a line of minigun. Uh, Run. There you go. <laughs> and like and do goes down. He only has two bullets. Yep. You have nothing left. Yes, Pickaxe him. Keep him nice. Back well to Pudge status. There you go. Uh, Look to other players. No, no, go back. Uh, Where are you going? Where are you you're going to pickaxe him? Oh, boy. Lucky Kadam, Pascal. Are you gonna, yeah, yeah, right there, right no, there, look, right he's there. too far. Right there, what are you? You have nothing. You guys drive at the same speed, brother. Oh, you know what it is? He's scouting out. He's like, look, just follow me. This is where he is. I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, I feel like... Well, I don't know, man. When you're, I mean, when... Uh, they're going to tilt it. They're running. They're, you know what happens? If another team sees them, they turn back, and they're going to be on the run. <laughs> like, we're like, oh, turn around. You know? like, look, but look, he finds a weapon now. It's a pistol. Now you can take shots at range. Okay. Over to Ryu there. Top left. And Marky and Lazy Lynx. He has one elimination. I mean, 38 HP, so he's obviously taking a fight here. His teammate's not too far. I mean, he's kind of far away. Not too close. Look at this, just take time. Pharma, I mean, look, man, this is Oh, lazy incredible lazy. Okay. orb, just knock reflection again. This is a battle that we keep seeing in retail row. Yep. And like one round, you know, reflection's up. The other, no, incredible orb gets that. Just taking a look at the kill feed here. It's just popping off. Isaac Live gets another two more. So Isaac Live's probably got three on his own right now. Mr. Boy, uh, Mr. Boy rather, and yep. Nems in Junk Finding Junction. a launch pad, that's big. Okay. We've seen the players uh, yeah. pretty consistently go here either in Junk Junction or just here to the right. Yeah, Sven and Mitro like to play the Junk Junction area as well, so there's definitely some threats nearby. There's probably going to be a fight soon. Got some building oh, going on is. here, and that's exactly what happens. Finds broken. Nice little pick right there. Now back over, we see that Magnus skin. You talked about it, the intimidating factor. Yeah. Jam side and Archangel. Little, just like a big boy, you know? I really like this skin right here. Ooh. He's, right, so he's got eyes in his player, Ooh. cuts him off to the high ground here, knew exactly where he's going to go. Oh, trying to lock down the elimination. Two shots, though. Every shot on this weapon matters. Notice how close he has to get to make it effective. Does that. Confirm shot in the back here, makes a quick call out. Uh, there you go, you gotta reload the Dilbert. This is very important, you need this weapon. Now here's the thing, man, he's, he doesn't have much in the way of heals. Oh, he's letting his teammate go in first. Ooh, oh, nice little oh, flick oh, right there. That was almost perfect timing to hit the second floor at the same time, because that player peaked because the teammate was coming just up over on the, you know, jam shot was posting over the staircase. Yep. So he peaked and got the hit right there with the double barrel. Look at that, Razor and DK. Near Shifty Shafts. Uh, I think we saw Gabby and Fixer near Shifty Shafts last game, right? True, but we also saw that team that just ran off and no, <laughs> no weapons, and what a shot! Oh, okay. That was a long range shot on Vainless for 119 meters there. Well played. That's going to be on the stream. Yes. That's going to be on the stream. He said it, he knew it, he <laughs> felt it, and it was. Oh, no, no. You got to get up there quick. Oh, boy. The rift is going to close in like seven out of mats. He just he ruined himself. Now he's stuck here. Sniper shot hits Pavani in the forehead. Down he goes. 83 meters. He says, you know what? You're going to keep me from taking this. I'm going to take your life. He doesn't have the materials to get up there, but he's got the grenades. If he can put himself in the right position here. His teammate goes in the rip to hit land up there. Is he going to toss things to help him out? He's going, look at that. Secures Pavani. done. That was insane. Look at this. SK is also. There's another team there. S. They what? find it. It was Lothar. Okay, okay, so Lothar <laughs> lost his teammate, right? Poverty <laughs> comes down. But this is another is team here. I don't think they know about this other team. They know now. These shots going off right here? Yeah. Look at this. They're trying to push out together. They're trying to just make their way out. With 300 mats, they have way more mats than this other squad. I don't see them having mats. We're to Jetpacks and Gomru. They're near Dusty Divot. I don't see them having more, more gear than us. Yeah, so yeah I even have a port of fort, so. Talking yeah, about their one. loadouts here. Just, yeah, use one. You think they're going to rift? Yeah, might as well, right? Now, do you do you take the same rift, or you try and eat all the rifts like in the area? Uh, I I usually try and use them because once you hit a certain location, you kind of don't go Scott back more often than not, right? Right. Okay. So I'll I'll use them so another squad doesn't. There's no reason to let someone Why close you distance on you easily. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. I don't understand. They opted to leave unless, that one behind. I mean, yeah, yeah unless you use that's one that's to scout that's and then use the second, but yeah, these guys just kind of left one, so I wouldn't I wouldn't give anyone that advantage. 
flying around in the air right now. So now they're kind of near Tilted Towers, but see a player yeah. there. I'm just going I'm, here. I'm uh, curious to see why he didn't just kind of get closer. He didn't. He yeah, kind of engaged look at, that look range. At the pinch. Look at where his teammates at on the map. Teammates on the hill here. He's gonna apply pressure from the side. Wow. Right from the other angle. Right. He's like, I don't need my teammate. Yeah, watch this. He's I pushing now. Rifle. I'm just gonna it this guy. He's keeping him distracted. His teammate's gonna back him up from that hillside. There it is. Gamro catching him from the other angle. Now they have him a nice pinch. He's gotta just, just rotate straight into him. He's got no other choice. I'm coming over to you. Stay alive. See, he said, I'm coming. Stay alive. He's just taking his time here. Doesn't want to overextend, over, you know, expose himself. And free opportunity. Takes it. Nice job. Wow, that, that was really, really well played. I mean, yeah, yeah. he didn't, he, you called it out. His teammates like, hey, I'm on the way. And instead of engaging, he's just literally playing with his food. Yep, yep, yep. building all around them, just kind of keeping them on the, you know, on the tail. Look at this, Kotaga and Mikalau. Putting the thermal scope to use. We haven't seen much use of the thermal. It's a great weapon. Uh, it's just the rarity, you know, it's kind of hard to come across. I mean, Ooh, nice 75 shot on there. headshot, too. I mean, especially at range when you're looking to third party and Vulture. Deadly weapon. Okay, we're looking at oh wow, Crowley goes down. It's a nice shot there. His teammate still has the angle up there. It's a grenade launch coming in. Loving to ramp play here. He knows exactly where he's at. Jumps down, lands a shot. He's gonna make the quick build. Now breaking the wall. Quick edit. Jumps out. Oh, just barely misses that. Catches the opportunity though. Veins goes go. down. Man, that was clean. That was very clean. Eliminate. Yeah, for sure. Look at this. Look at all the ammo now they have. They got extra loot. Wait, is someone else here? Yep. I think I heard some builds there. He's blocking himself now. Mats are great right now. Can, yeah, you heard the shotgun shot go off too. Yep. I hear a vehicle behind me. Over oh, to Ed. Oh, Sinoya. Quick call out here. She has a vehicle we close by. It's the ATK at the top of the top of the hill. Are they going to jump out on these guys though? No, probably not because they have the storm behind them. Opting in to go a little bit wider here. I think Loya should be taking Maybe shots at this though. These are free, you know, free pop shots. Etnix decides to. She's got her minigun readied up as well. As well. Let's just get in. Maybe yeah. Oh, another squad to oh, yeah. her right. There's a rift right here though. Yeah, let's let's use it. Or go somewhere. What do you think? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. There you go. Now Loya's gonna fall. You wanna chase the car? He's alone. Yeah, yeah. Let's chase, 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 chase. Look at that Use the rift to chase the ATK. Just dive bombing in there. Check this. He has natural high so, ground. So. Loya needs to get a little bit wider than Etnix. So that would be the best play to make here. She goes overhead here. Doesn't make the edit play, but decides to jump down. Shotgun shot. Lands oh, that. Isaac Mav goes down. Nice teamwork here. Oh, we have the drum. They're, they're in form now, you know? They're turtling next to me. Below DK us. and oh, Razor. Yeah. I mean, this guy's a sharpshooter. We've seen some of his clips coming in from yesterday. Ooh, grenade launcher. Perfect range right here. Love seeing me. I just love seeing players wow. get in the perfect range, man. Such a confidence booster to kick off battles. This is what oh, leads to big spanky. fights right here. That's one. Cuts him off to the left with a grenade launcher, then forces him to the right, closer to him and his teammate. All calculated, mind you. Nice shot right there. Another shot. Another headshot off the hip fire. That was insane. Didn't miss a shot at all. And look at that. DK doesn't even celebrate. Just, just another day in the life. Knows what he's doing. Back over to Sky, who's in Tilted Towers right now. See Sky with his teammates, though. That's great. And now goes the push. He's trying to break out of there. <laughs> Finds an elimination, and now they have Dude, I gotta get out of here. It's Sky, man. <laughs> yeah, it's Sky. I can't be here. Had he thrown that C4 right outside the doorway, he would have really taken out both of them, though. Yeah, that's true. He did the moment decisions. SK. Oh, tries to catch him on the pre-peak. This guy already has two eliminations, man. Look at his HP. It's not very great. He does have the clingers, though. He's pushing speed. 33 on the shield. Man, there's two teams nice. here. He's white numbers. Oh, he's this down. Guy's getting okay. focus from the right and left hand side there, even when no HP is making jump, jump. big plays. Oh, I saw the ATK and I was thinking, was that the ATK that Loya and them saw? But those guys not. are long gone. <laughs> yeah, those, that's a, another part of the map right now. Look at the, look at the confidence here with no HP going to full build battle. Who do you see do this? Oh, wow. He's down. His teammate needs help. Out. No, Thomas Pace goes to take him down. Got him. Good oh, job. boy. Fixie gets another one here. Uh, shot. I have nothing to heal. Can you drop me the minis, please? Razor gets the other elimination in the kill feed. So Razor's still oh, racking up points here. Razor's actually having a monster game here with his teammate. I'm getting the bandages for you. Thank you. 27 HP. One mini there. Another uh, team now with their backs against the wall. This is Razor Squad. Yeah. 
Razor and DK is super yeah, low. Uh, oh, at least he's got that's bandages. Gonna that's going to be super like, helpful right here. Ten bandages, man. Yeah, it's, they're they're doing pretty great right now. Jetpacks and Gamru. Careful, don't like reveal. They're actually not far from this team. Yeah. Maybe we can just play uh, it's kind of interesting how they already had kind of landed they're here. They got some, you know, picks here, and they're still here playing this little area. If you can get snipe on them and you, you're confident you can hit that, you can go for it. You can kind of hear him say, if you can get snipes on them, we'll push that. Yep. Like, these guys are clearly, one, they're going to be stacked when they come in, which is my worry. Like, they're going to have so much stuff. We could hold the edge here where they're going to come They're in. in the zone, though. They're pressured in the zone. And this is great team communication. Really just getting the point across. What, what are you trying to do, Jetpacks? Let me know. Dude. What he nice. says, get the snipe. Get the snipe on high style. What an opener. No, 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 no. And I mean, that's the position. guy you want to hit is high style. I got Ben. Like... Yeah, he's been hitting shots all day. Yep. Yeah. Well, I just right? got hit. <laughs> he got traded back on that one. Dude, I think I might be resing in the zone. Someone else. There's a duo far to... Uh... Oh, hold on. Knows he's got to block his side out. That's his primary... Oh, he can't expose himself like this. That other team will take him out if he overdoes it. We have to and they're sitting in the storm right now. It's ticking for two. Yeah. He's below Already here. ticking for two? That's not good. Come in, come in, come in, come in. It's now... Him. There you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, I yeah, thought yeah, it was going to hit the camp, five camp, uh, camp, benchmark. We got, we got launch pad oh, as look well. at that. He immediately has to just nice. bandage up a little bit. Yeah, the campfire is going to be awesome here. And minis. That's actually so worth. Fixer and Gabby. They've been playing great so far as well. Let's see if they can snack some eliminations to continue to hold up that overall standing of about 12 for Fixter and Gabby. They're just going to make their way kind of around the storm here. Well, I, was, I thought I heard Gabby laughing for a second there. I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hey, Gabby's having a great time. Yeah, I was like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> now they're making, so look, they're kind a tree, of. A tree a just got chopped down there. A tilted. Oh. Mm. Well, we, we saw there was a few teams there earlier, right? Right, it was Sky. Yep. So mm -hmm. this is either have a big opener or don't fight this team. <laughs> we're going to find out. We're, we're yeah, going to yeah. find out how this plays out right now. Mind you, Gabby and Fixer have the advantage at, at the moment, right? They have the most information. And the Elder Squad is distracted. So if you see Snorkel Ops with the Black Knight Shield on the back, that is Skite. Remember That's who you avoid. Remember it. Where? In there, in the corner of Tilted. Oh, yeah, that's not cool for just communicating a little bit, right? Telling telling each other what they see. Yeah, just giving information back and forth here. But you see there's actually a fight here happening. Oh, nice job. And just secure the elimination, you know? Just going to take that and roll. <laughs> Literally a drive-by. Yep, going for the high ground now. And look, there's someone up there on their left. They have so many mats. Uh, that's it. Honestly, and they have so many options, right? Like just the, the different in elevation. Maybe they can look down I'm into tilted. Now. They can shoot up at the hill on their right. And look at this. So this is the team inside. Oh, hits Goofy from super long range. Look at this. This is Sky. With we talked RPG. about it. It's the snorkel ops with the black knight backpack. And look at look at, look at his like, shield, right? He hasn't even gotten touched. All this fighting we've seen, they've been playing that well. Look, they're firing down at them from up on the hill. Don't get sniped. Just don't get sniped. I have so much. I have so much ammo. So you need don't to shoot sniped, where it's low. Yeah. Gabby calling out. Look, I've got ammo for days. Uh, let's just take some shots. I hope Gabby's protecting her top side the way uh, Fixer decided to do. It's very important for the situation right. they're in. Just continue. Look at that. He tags the shield. I believe it's like 26. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Gets a piece of his medicine right there. Gets traded back. Right, right. It's funny that he said, Gabby, don't get sniped. <laughs> he got sniped. Yeah. Give me a mini, sir. Uh, what do you have? Oh, uh, he's got the chug jug, so okay. he's going to use the slurp. Save on to the chug here. It's going to feel bad. Hey, can you give me some minis? And she's like, here, take my slurp. And then he just drops a chug jug, and you're like, oh. Like, wait, you had that? Wait, you have that? Dude. No, use that. <laughs> do I have any rockets or no? 24 players left in match five. Opportunity for us to take a fight. They are, they, they are I actually want to listen to these guys. They, they're listening to all this commotion, mind you. You can see them. See, they're watching it unfold. They haven't even dived down. Storm comes in in 10 seconds. And then we're about to see where the new circle is going to be. I'll say so. Yes, please. 
Okay, DK, you're, you what do you, what, you can't, you, well. you can't tell people about that. It's when you say safe zone that it appears around you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay, okay, so now they've got the Brothers high ground. people are shooting at the other guys. Still on the... Uh, Monster, ambitious. there's 24 people left in this lobby right there's now. Like There's a lot of players, one and to play off of a, a mountain like uh, this makes yeah, it that yeah, much yeah, more yeah. difficult. They're, they're yeah, definitely. Especially if the, the circle the moves on top of the mountain. Look, I mean, this spot here. Oh, How no. do they not know there's someone above them? Bro, Gamru. One down by me. Caught slipping right there. That was not what he wanted. Down. Razor. Is down here? Don't chase Oh, this is the other perspective. Okay, he says don't chase. They want to keep that positioning, right? That's why he doesn't want his teammate to chase right here. I got a big hit. Trying to catch up there with DK. He says don't chase his teammates, still nice, chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, DK is uh, one of those aggressive players. He's like, just don't do this, but ground. watch I'm me do loot. this. Yeah, he's yeah. like, you stay up there, right? I got this, dude. Uh, <laughs> he's like, uh, oh, uh, that's why he didn't want it to high. happen. They just Super lost high stuff. ground. Oh, right. Might have been Gabby. Fine, fine. They were just under that mountain. They could have just sieged the opportunity of the battle. I think we can. 22 players left, Monster. Last game of the day. They get eliminations, but at the expense of positioning. So Look at that. It's all made of metal, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, get that wood out of here, dude. Oh, he's got a grenade launcher. Uh, Ooh, um, that's what on. you want. That's a good way to take back your yeah. spot. Oh, no, it wasn't Gabby. Yeah. So Gabby's still in their base down here. They really are, kind of, but... Oh, he's yeah, there. Yeah. Yes, let them there. They're there. There they're coming. Don't get sniped. Gabby trying to take shots okay. where she can. Uh-oh. Lands in with their teammate here. They're under a lot of pressure. Is she gonna make the play to get out of here? She's got the double barrel. She's got to do his barrel stuff, this guy. Nice close quarter. This is the time to do it. That's one hit. That's the second. Nice follow up here. Oh, use the second shot there. There you go, secures. Gotta get out of here. The storm's gonna do a lot of damage. Just ticking for five next to seven. That's your wall, yep. Oh, look at that. She's just being patient. Another player right in front of her. Double barrel. One just the launch pad. Gets straight out. Yeah. Yeah, I got Multiple quit, teams so here. Fine. He's fine. He didn't actually kill me. We went he never from 24 me. now to 20. No one killed me, so... Yeah, oh, no her point me. goes to the storm. No, no, no. Uh, I damaged his friend really much. He launch padded after you. The other guy is, like, running into the storm. I yeah, got that's a team guy. of two in front of her. No, no, no. Like, I yeah. got knocked from the storm, and I'm... Oh, dead. the Chug Jug just went off for Fixer. No. Oh, Paid nice. Yeah, he had really low HP. He managed to get that one off. Look so there it is. Uh, Gabby just now getting eliminated to the storm there. No one gets that point. Well played, Gabby. So now JBiz can start here as well. 19 players remain. Yeah, it's important even if you can you know, sacrifice yourself to the storm. I mean, that's a difference in the, in the overall standings. And he looks like he's going to sneak right up on his team here. Keenstar looking to capitalize on the opportunity. Like building overhead. Yeah, just keep going, right? Oh, facing a little bit of a little bit decent there, but it looks like he's bounced back. Trying to fight his way over. I'm surprised they're just not like building. I mean, they're saving mats. Looking, they're looking for the opportunity to really siege big on this. And there it is. The call out goes out. I think it's an individual player. They're looking to full push into this. C4 comes down. That's the call out. Opens up the, the, the wall here. Jake Biz jumps down, down face to face them. with a player. That's a tactical. DK, that the traps go off. Dodges the traps. Oh, oh my. There's a trap right there. Oh! He <laughs> didn't realize there was two. Oh, gosh. Keith Star now has to make the play of the year here to save his teammate. But there are 17 guys left. I don't think he gives up the high ground here. This EU scene, it's just unfolding now. Looks like Jake Biz takes his loot into the storm here. Battle going on right underneath. Yeah, good upon. Nice ramp push here to take a little bit of uh, height protection here. Use the bounce to reset backwards. Jumps to the right wall. Snacks that elimination right from his teammate. Well done. Wizard Joe goes down. Oh my gosh. He's just he like, needs mats. He's basically playing as mine. He bounces up, takes elimination, protects himself with walls, doesn't get hit. He's like floating like a butterfly. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, kids are down here. They want points. Is this Kinstar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinstar probably went down to see if he can find his teammate. And look at that, Fixer still alive now with a little bit of storm on his side here. I should be farming at Treacher's, right? That was good play, though. Kill yeah, I mean, it's extra like mats. Solid. Every mat will matter. Solid. Every mat will matter. Good, good. 15 players left. Oh, there's no more. Storm is about to give us a new circle. Oh, look how far away it is. We've only got 15 players left, Marcel. We've seen this every time. It's going it go to go 15 to 8, maybe even 6. That was a lot of action right there. <laughs> that was so, it looked like it was end game, end game for real. We're one point behind on 10th place before this match. Just oh, 
Nice opportunity. Nice. Oh, one point? One. Is that what you wanted, Gabby? Let's Don't worry. Do Forget that one point. You now got it. Shrimp sandwich if we do this. Trying to put down shots. My choice event all still alive. Oh Playing gosh. the snake game here with the rift to go. They're going to use that to reset for some positioning here. Oh, I love okay, what they're doing. Here. There's a team here. There's someone here. Oh, we said it. Oh, oh, nice shot right there. The trade goes off. Quick edits. Oh, I don't know. They they're basically have their backs to the wall. They're when he goes here. for the reload, he's got to get this elimination. Maybe. Yep. Sit. He oh, does it. perfect. Go wow. Go Perfectly. And now he buys himself a little bit of room. Look at this. They have two sets of ramps, two sets of walls up. So they're going to rift to go and take high ground right now. Last second, I'm pretty sure. He's going to wait the four seconds for him to pop both minis. He's going to pick his uh, SMG up there. And then here they go. There it is. They're going to just flow into the best position possible. Dude, yeah, just follow sure everyone that's building high ground. Look, look at these players. They have no idea. Just one player. They're just going to dive on him. Yo, what's up, dude? Oh, you up hi, here by yourself? Gone. You feel safe? He beat my oh. double barrel. Oh, he oh. No, go, go, go. Oh, oh, oh my oh, gosh. Two HP. Two HP and gets the uh, knock perfectly. Svenos. Svenos, come here. Please. Save his squad mate. Oh, someone else is jumping land. out on him. He uses Rift. Bounce, bounce off. Down. What a play. No, he didn't knock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Six players Catches like himself. He literally Mitro, you're insane. Uh -oh. oh no! Above you! His own player! <laughs> <laughs> no! He's oh gosh, above. he can't get hit by anything right now. He catches Fnatic at Nyx. This guy's amazing. Oh my he gosh. He is playing oh, out of his mind right now. Look, there's bandages! Oh my gosh, okay, it's okay. Take the bandages. Five players remain. Oh my gosh. Four and a half players. He doesn't count as a player yet. He has no <laughs> HP. <laughs> <laughs> Tinny still alive. Tinny. Mitro still in this game. They're moving now with the storm. Tinny's basically got to come to the rescue here and just miles. eliminate whoever's up here. There's so much threat above. You hear shots? This is a crazy Someone's last game. Someone's above this him. This is opportunity. Monster. This is opportunity. Sees it, takes it, Whoa. knocks him down. This dude's one hit. He's literally one away to shield. He's got like barely any mats. Oh my, oh. he almost just fell. He's got barely any mats. Five players left. What can he you do? Can he can build guy. four things. Oh, that's I not what you want to hear. Tinny, start shooting, man. Just pickaxe, pick, pickaxe all of it. Can you? Oh this my thing gosh. is connected in multiple ways. We're four mats, he can't even get down. No way, Tinny from up high. Zoom. Oh, it's the other point. Wow. Beehive, Beehive just. Okay, you have, you have to. a bouncer. You have to. You have no choice. Wow. Hey, bitch, it's okay. All right, bounce down. Bounce. You got to go. Bounce down. Four players left. Tinny, look at that. Scouting up high and then coming all the way down. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So now break this wall right here, Tinny. This is a favorable spot for him. But here's the thing. He doesn't Someone, fall on the floor. Someone's above. Just moving back and forth. Gets Ooh, his team oh star. God. Oh, no. Go, He's stuck on the zone right oh, there. Oh, no. That's it. Tinny's going to fall to the storm. He's, He's going to be a 1v1 side. now. Let's go. <laughs> They're both players oh, to the hug. storm zone. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe it up there. That. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. Okay. First of all, everything leading up to that was insane. I had a favorite moment. I got a new favorite moment. I think it was the plays from Mitro with the flying and the. The Svenos at the, the high ground take off the rift. Oh my gosh. You can't I mean, introduce items like this. It gets too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even having Mitro come all the way down, he bounces off with two HP, literally taking shots as he's falling, lands, puts up a wall on the ceiling, and then literally looks over and just starts throwing clingers, takes down Etnix, finds bandages. It, they use it <gasps> to make an amazing play, take out blood. And then someone uses it to make an amazing play against them, but they turn it around. That was a fantastic ending. Let's take a look at the final moments coming in from our final game from EU. Dude, this. So How Tinny finds the He's gotten so many eliminations. Just walk to him. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, we couldn't even see this angle. He gets another. Oh, nearly does. Uh, it was and lost. both players. So it was that high ground. And this is the hard part, man. We see this time and time again. You you can't fight the mountain. You have to play against the mountain. Yep. If you're just assuming, like, it'll be fine. We'll work it out. Like, yeah, once you start sliding back and forth on that mountain, you, you got to get as high as possible. Wow. That was the last game of the day. Oh, no! What? <laughs> no! We've got uh, highlights coming in here in just a moment. Gosh. Oh my gosh, man. No! <laughs> Woo!
That was that was an exciting last game. That was a great game to end that on. That was a great last game for the EU scene. And just not to confuse any guys, this is only the first heat of the EU. Next up is NA. But here we got a bunch of highlights going on. This is a great shot right here. We saw this one. What a shot. Threading the needle there. With no uh, materials either, but mind you. Nice follow up. There you go. Shots. Gotaga and Mikla. I mean, these guys are playing out of their minds all day. That fine dominate. Oh man, evil. This guy. Even high style played really good as well. It's just exceptional performance today. <laughs> Blows out the ceiling. Shoots him as he's leaving, trying to leave through that door. Oh man. I this love right this here. player here also. No, no, just no, no, super no, smooth. No, no, Coming to back up his teammate from like the middle of nowhere. Take shots from up top and then he immediately puts down the uh the ceiling. So look at this Mitro. This is where stuff got someone lands on lands on him, bounces off, quickly reacts, almost get he almost got the elimination right there, mind you. That would have might have been the difference of uh winning the game because that was the, the winning player right there. Yeah, they yep. landed high ground, remember? He stood up there. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, you guys fight. We're gonna have to move over to, uh, on this side of the mountain. Did you jump down? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll see you on the other side. Good luck. That's right. Wow, dude. I mean, just an awesome set of games. You know what else we saw a lot of? Snipes, man. A lot of snipes. Snipes Not from the EU scene. I knew it was going to happen. You know what else we've got? What? You want to see some snipes? I want to see some snipes. Let's see some snipes. I mean, <laughs> let's just take a look. All day. Four snipes, four days. He's like, Sven Oh! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fixter right here. Oh, the serpentine into Quick the bottom. Yep. Oh my gosh. That was like, they were half exposed. <laughs> Barely half exposed. I mean, obviously high styled. I mean, high style was just so good at the start. Doesn't even react. He's like, I just do this. What Pretty you... unfortunate. I was vainless as the victim twice, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Caught someone gargling. Take I was too say, long. That was vainless again. <laughs> no, well, no I, is this vainless again? Okay. <laughs> Wizard Joe played really well today too. Two teams fighting, so. Down one. Dude, high style this up and down this highlight reel. Nice. Got one down here as well. I got a knock coming. Yes. Nice. Snipe after snipe. I got him. <laughs> that was painless. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is remember they, he was trying to rift and they said no, and then he was like, look, poverty, look, man, I'm just trying to be with my team. That was awesome. man, unbelievable set of matches. My oh my. Now what everyone crazy. is probably waiting for, standings. Oh man. Here are they, are they we, ready? they're ready. Are they are ready? ready to take a look at standings? So this is first. We're going to take a look at match five standings. My hands are sweating for this, by the way. I mean, <laughs> look, my heart's racing for them. So this is match five standings. Okay, okay, so this is match five. The last match that just happened, right? There it is. Unbelievable. Okay, so DK and Razor, they dropped an eight bomb. Wow. Wow. And, and Loya... Fanatic Etnix coming up from nowhere, just having a monster last game, gets seven eliminations for themselves. And then Gotaga Mikala, man. We I mean, they were gonna come up big. Okay, now here's the thing. This is this is the overall match five standings. Okay, we're really quickly gonna take a look at who's in top 20. Isaac and Lent. All right. Now here's the thing, monster. Getting word. We gotta talk about tiebreak. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's take a moment and talk about tiebreakers. We so, were seeing everything today, <laughs> dude. Like everything, this everything. Week. This is how close it comes down to. Okay, I'm so tiebreakers. <laughs> I'm the lucky everything. one. <laughs> tiebreakers. First, it comes down to points. Okay, now if those points tie, we go to victory royales. If they match in victory royales, you go to eliminations. If they go to past eliminations, we go to a coin flip. Okay, keep this in mind when you're taking a look. At the final standings from EU's day two. We make it down to a coin flip? Yeah. Gosh. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Ready to find out? Oh. Uh, Here we go. 
Kinstar and J-Biz in first place Gosh, with 28. Dude. Here's where the tiebreaker kick comes down. Look, two 27s and two 26s. Wow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Monster, I mean, you've talked about it, man. That Look consistency. The names. Kinstar and J-Biz have been front runners for now a little bit. Now, Beehive and Blood, I mean, we've, we've literally seen Beehive and Blood be top five consistently. Svenos and Maestro, so good. back to back victory outs, 10 points, puts them in uh, fourth place, block and fixed. I mean, man, oh man, don't forget. So we've been kind of divvying out prize and the people that place 10 get that additional prizing on top of everything else. And look at that, uh, Etnik's coming from near all the way behind the race, all the way up to 25th, just off one big game that was seven points. These guys played really well. This is crazy. Man, oh man, and taking a look at the current prizing, so don't forget, we were giving out prizing per match, and then all the points that players have been accumulating, those have kind of uh, worked up to one final big prizing. So this is the per match prizing, and then taking a look at the final prizing, this again is your top 10 teams get a bonus on top of that that's just crazy. for a few hours of uh three hours of fortnite hey but they work hard it, oh my gosh the year to get and you know accumulate that skill so oh, man. how did you enjoy the format i think this format brought a lot more action than i thought i thought people were going to be playing for that victory but no when when you put a kill incentive up there you know elimination incentive guys are hungry for it they chase it down and we see people how many teams came up like right oh, almost got it it's seven so seven seven like if that's how hard it is to get the eight and i knew it was going to be that way since yesterday i said it like eight is going to be tough that one difference is a big difference definitely man any thoughts before we sign off for the day Thoughts for the day. Uh, let me let me jump into the schedule. So this is not the end all be all. We're definitely going to have an NA series after this. We're going to have a break and we'll resume at two PDT. So that will be happening. We have more action for the days up. But other than that, I think today's uh, EU session was fantastic. Yesterday's EU session, fantastic. These guys really showed up, and uh, thank you guys for having me. It was great. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for tuning in for the first five games a day. Like Monster talked about, we'll be back at two, so that's in about two hours. A lot more. Get some Fortnite in. Don't forget to thank the bus driver, and we'll see you guys on the <laughs> battle bus. See you in a bit. Thank you, guys. Yeah, but it looks unnecessary. What do you mean? Bye, oh, no! Oh, oh, damn, damn! Yo! It's on top, nice. Okay, it's on top, it's on top. It's on the zone. Thank you. Yeah! Nice! Silver. I got him. It's just the last one. Let's fucking go! Good shit! <laughs> nice! Get a Touch it! Yes! Nice! Yes! Nej, jag har någon mätt. Ta ett mätt, ta ett mätt fort. Folk kommer, folk kommer.